So you, so you in love with her? Why are we, why are we no, talking no, no, about so in love? love that's, that's no, I'm question. not in love. I'm not in love. They will be Atlanta's new adult entertainment couple. Mimi and Nico. Y'all are really married. Yeah. We've been engaged for the second week. We met each other. Just nobody knew. Don't be gone too long. Oh. All right, baby, I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. Bye. All right. What can I say about Cool Kicks? She's an ATL socialite. She's married to a well-established music industry mogul. And when I met Pooh, I was still dating Nico at the time. And she never passed judgment on me. And I can respect her and appreciate that. Did you get the uh, fruit out the fridge? Sure. Y'all help me. What yes. you been up to, Pooh? Girl, no, Hiram, he got the whole tour thing going on with new addition. How do you deal with just leaving your husband? Like, you don't feel bad when he leaves? I be lonely and just drinking wine and till I just fall asleep. That's but all you be doing? That's all I be doing. <laughs> is that all you be doing? All right. Yeah. Uh, if that's uh, what you say. I'm just cut from a different cloth. No, it's not an open relationship. It's just, yeah, I'll get with a woman and we'll do that. I just think it's unrealistic for a man to only sleep with one woman for the rest of his life. Girl, speak for yourself. Okay. If that's who I'm with, exactly. that's all who's getting it. It's no secret that Pooh and Hiram like to keep their marriage fresh. They both are very understanding about each other's needs. Honey, now I'm stressed out. I know I was on my keto diet, but when I, <laughs> when I stress, I eat. Honey. So, Miss Keto Diet. Who, who you trying to stay fine for? Because Girl, I'm just on some new me, new C type vibe, you know? Uh, I like that. So, me and BK, we doing good. We been chilling. He around. But on the flip side, he do one more thing. He's out the f door. I'm trying to work on my relationship with BK. He haven't been the most faithful guy in the past, but we're trying to work past that and build up the trust again. I deserve the f best. You do. You are gonna get it. And you wouldn't be saying that if he was the best. And that's just keeping it real. But I'm gonna get it together and we'll see. We'll see. I wanna ask y'all, I know y'all all got y'all invitation to Carly's engagement thing. I have not gotten one yet. I mean, everybody told me, like, have you got your invite? I don't know what's going on. I know y'all talked to her too. Girl, no worries. Me and Carly <laughs> had our ups and downs. This is nice. Oh, you, know, you guys came to support? Um, um negative. Did you wanna call it? I called you, but you didn't answer. Anyway, you put it, it's, it's shady. No. Okay, I got mine. Yours gonna come soon. Me and Carly used to talk every day, all day. And now, I don't even really hear from her at all. She just say a little something and then disappear. Did you say she was ugly? <laughs> did you say she was old? I'm asking. Did you call her old? Did you say she, she is old? old? Nah, she is old. But that's a whole nother story. The best thing about having a friend with her own salon, she can hook you up no matter what time of night. It's been way too long, so I had to catch up with my girl, Sierra, in person. Carly. I got you all to myself. Your ass would come after hours. Absolutely. I gotta come after hours, because that's the best way to come. Sit on down, honey. <laughs> Carly is always calling me at the last minute, but I am glad that Carly hit me up, because it's not just her lace front that we need to talk about. Every time I see you, I end up fixing your Tell me about it. Bitch, you have been like, MIA. Other relationships, you will still call me like, what's up, girl? We going out? What we doing? I'm overwhelmed. Like, engagement party, wedding. But enough about me. Okay. What have I missed? What's going on with you? Girl, let me catch you up on this. This some Pooh had a sleepover. She had a slumber party. Interesting. But it was nice, though, girl. She had food. She had drinks. It, you know, we just had a great time. Mm -hmm. But she was talking mm -hmm. about how you didn't invite her to her your engagement party. So I'm like, have you spoke to Carly about this? Mm. Oh my God, what's going on? Pooh and I were friends because she was a wife. Mm -hmm. 
And I knew that someday I want to be a wife too and I want to have friends that are married. Yeah. But as the relationship grew, mm -hmm. I saw, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. You're a married woman and you're acting single. Mm -mm. This is not the type of life I want to live. It's true, Pooh and I do have history, and we were good friends for a little while. Then I saw what type of opportunist she is. I said, oh no, I had to cut ties. Why are you saying all of this? Like, I'm just thinking. She was in Cancun for my birthday. BK, like all of us, we had a great time. When we was down there, she was like, talking to other guys and leaving with them and doing all type of craziness. Now that you're saying what you're saying, I'm just like, hmm. You are a whole married woman. She is. And then I found out that Pooh put in the blogs that I slept with her, her husband, which I never did. Release some information on the blogs, like that's some weak ass shit. I don't respect that at all. Back in the day, I seen the blogs with Carly supposedly getting with Pooh and her husband, so it's really not nothing new to me. But I never thought it was Pooh that leaked that stuff. I met Pooh through Carly, and what I'm hearing from Carly is foul. You my friend, you know I love you so much. You got your little ways, and you had your feelings about people, then your ass make up with oh, them, no. and then you might be mad again. This one right so here? So is this an episode? Tell me now. I don't with her, like I'm good. Well, you done then. Calling my best friend Carly, trying to find out what's going on with her engagement party, with the invitations and stuff, and she's just being ghost on me. Like yeah, me too. Hello. Oh, you got a nice store. I was wondering where my friend been. I haven't heard from you in a while. Girl, I opened a store three years ago, and you've never, not one time, been at my store. Yes, I have. The only Carly. time you came was the first time for the paparazzi. Okay, Carly. I just came to check on you because I just heard that you have an engagement party, and I was wondering why I wasn't invited. Guess what? Instead of messy and gossiping about me, just call me and say, I heard you're having an engagement party. What's up? So that's why I come here as a grown woman trying to talk to you because I feel like we go way back. And me and you been there for each other over all the years. I've been there for you. And I've been there for you as well. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have. It's true. Pooh and I were friends until I realized what a clout chaser she was. And I don't want no parts of that. I'm engaged now. So I'm putting all the dirty hoes behind me. And no, I don't want her at my engagement party. I don't want her around me to be all my friends. At this point in my life, I want to be around people that are influential in my life. They're not acting drunk in the clubs. All the that we used to do, I don't want to do that no more. Number two, I feel like you only hang around me because of who I know, because of who I'm with. But you know who my husband is, right? No one knows I who bet, he I is. Bet, yeah, everybody in the world Girl. know who he is, then, Carly. Okay, let, he done worked with everybody Girl, in the music That was business. back in the day in 1942. Stop. Listen, okay. when they talk about that you, was way back it's hard. It when matter. they talk about Hiram, it's it respect. It doesn't matter. So don't, that was so way back in the day. That, That's Carly. what we You start with everybody, Carly, and you started with me. I'm supposed to be your yeah. friend. You stab me in the back. Girl, bye. When my husband goes to all these star-studded events, I'm his plus one, and I'll be around all these celebrities that you wish you was around. But no, you have to they to get next to them. That's why they call you a hoe. In the past, when I brought my relationships around you, you were so touchy-feely. Hey, bro. Mm, mm, uh, touching your touching your ass like I mean, I you you touch So what's the difference? What, what? you talking about? You Tyra, you my and you That's my good. ass. You're right, no, in my Let's be honest. You know we're 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 talk together, no, okay, but me and you right now. adventurous together. And Carly, you know you done explored with us plenty of times, bitch. I don't know why Carly is ashamed of it. I guess her new man is not down with the program, so she gotta lie to him and make him think that she's a good girl, which we all know that's a lie. Did you lie? Why did I lie? Your wasn't in my ass. You know. Carly's engagement party is finally here. The last time I saw Mr. Arkansas Mo, he was down on one knee proposing to Carly. So now I'm hoping we can actually get a little conversation in with Mr. Mo. Let's give it up for Carly Red and Arkansas Mo. <laughs> Y'all, is that Shay Mag? Y'all remember Shay Mag? You remember Shay Mag? That's the question of the evening. <laughs> I'm so excited about being engaged and just starting a new, fresh life together. I have 
haven't brought more around my friends yet because since we got engaged, I really only wanted to be around him. He travels for work. I'm always super busy. So when we do have time, we in the house. But I know they're going to love him just as much as I do. I'm going to need a lot of advice. <laughs> you need to cook. Do I cook? She cook. Clean. Do I clean? Yes. Do you guys want kids? Yeah. Do you have kids? A daughter. Just one. Oh, okay. Well, I got two because her daughter, my daughter now. Oh, you know what I'm talking about. You know what? You won, bro. But you guys want another baby. You want You praying for a boy. Yeah. 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 Y
One. I know Carly's gonna be there, so why not bring Shay Mack? Say your apology, Shay, and come on back to the light. Come on back to the light. So what happened? Girl, she pregnant with twins. Congratulations, baby. Thank you, boo. Hey, Carly. Hey, Mimi. Shay Mack. Yeah. Carly, she say hi. Well, I mean, first I would like to say I apologize. Because that was not the time or the place for me to expressing my emotions in the park. And you know, I was under the, a little bit of an influence with myself and Miss Pooh, and she told me about y'all friendship, and then it just gave me a little bit of remembrance because I thought me and you were friends. But really, this ain't even about Pooh. This is about me being a woman of my problems that I caused at your party, and I really would like to apologize. She kind of called me and told me that Shay felt bad for what she did. I get it. We all do petty things. So I could totally forgive Shay. But Pooh, I will never forgive her, even if she apologized. You know, you never know what people are going through at the time. And I apologize to you, but what I won't apologize is for Pooh. She was cool. But once I saw how she was messy, and I'm hearing all these lies that she's telling about how I slept with her, I slept with her husband. Who tried, well, well, who tried to give me a fake <laughs> She tried to give me a dildo. <laughs> when I decided to throw this party, I didn't imagine that I would be hearing about dildos and fake penises. Security! So, no. so she's trying to have sex with you? Yes, I went over there to tell her about the fact that I felt the way. Like, you know, I thought about it, like, oh, saying it. Yeah, cool. She wasn't even trying to hear it. She go in the closet. She pulled out, talk, pulled out this, talking about, I got something to make you feel better. And it was vibrating on both sides. I was vegan right then and there. <laughs> and invite everyone to this fabulous cocktail party. Mimi, Rashida, Sierra, and I invited even Carly so we can hash out all the nonsense and they can see the real me. Where's all the rest of the girls at? I told you I wanted Carly to come. Did you reach out to I her for me at least? Yes. I'm trying to be the bigger person. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we both have it really stooped really low, and I, have, I feel a little bad about it because really that's not me. Oh, wow. Look who's here. She showed up. Can you believe this? That tone, I can't that believe tone. It. The tone. The tone. I don't mean to have no bad tone it's or a anything. Bad tone. I'm just in shock that she showed up because I've been trying to reach out. Yes, step lips. What? What? What she said? Listen, but we know the whole setup you did in Cancun. You tried to f with BK. Everybody knows now. That's why no one showed up to your little shindig. Carly was not in Cancun. Carly is not BK or Sierra. So why is these names even coming up at all? First of all, you Carly. need to handle your sh First of all, Ken Carly, I feel like you should mind your own business. Let me and Sierra handle that. I'll talk to Sierra and straighten all that out. I didn't try to talk to BK. BK tried to talk to me, and he knows that. I told BK I was married, and I'm not here for the bull. I'm only here to. So wait a minute, you're owning up to being in an open relationship, but you're only doing it when you're not sleeping around with your friend's men? Do you even know what you're saying? And that's why we left at her store and I exposed her ass at her store because this is the you she did. You exposed me, exposed yes, me at what? Yes, I exposed you and I exposed you and I exposed you in the ass. Bitch, you know my mother sheets. You owe me $750. Ridiculous.
to complete insanity. Both sides are not backing down, and all of this mess is sucking in everybody else, including me. What's been up with you? Oh, Bitch, I'm finna go to Trinidad. Hey, Girl, I could just got so much stuff going on. That oh, it don't got nothing to do with that. Girl, yes, it do. No, it don't. I haven't been with BK at all, baby girl. Who the roses from? Who the roses from? Don't worry about who sent me. I got a secret admirer. You have a secret admirer, and it's not BK. BK had one more chance. He done cut his last chance, and I'm not going back. We all know that I've taken BK back a million times after he's done some lame ass cheating. But this time, I'm done. And clearly, it's been a line of guys that's been waiting to replace his ass. So who needs him? Listen, after the cabins, you already know what went down, bitch. So stop acting like you well, got I wasn't there. I wasn't there in the field. Wow. I'm thinking I'm about to have a great time. Then Carly comes telling me, like, oh, friend, I forgot to tell you about BK and Pooh. So I'm like, bitch, why the you ain't tell me six months ago, a few weeks ago. I had a conversation with Pooh. Me, me, you was there. Pooh was all lollygagging, all up in my face. He, he, ha, ha. And mentioned nothing about the whole BK and her situation. So, Miss Keto Diet, who you trying to stay fine for? BK? Girl, we been chilling. But on the flip side, he do one more thing. He's out the door. Period. Period. That's gonna be our new word. Period. Period. I just think it's a whole bunch of fake going on. I tried to get Pooh and Carly together to try to talk oh, this I out. I went for that bitch. So wait, so who threw this cocktail party in which none of y'all came to? to Carly comes, as soon as she walked through the door, it was some bull Pooh was really trying to have a conversation with She really was. Carly was not hearing it. When I tell you this got so ugly, who ended up picking up this big ass bar stool? Oh my God. God. You ain't gonna do Who mad? That and I left her alone. I know Pooh and Carly very well. I like both these girls, but I'm not gonna be the one to take sides. I'm gonna stay out of this, and I pray these two girls work this out between themselves. So, hi, y'all. Oh, no, don't look stunned to see me. Hey, Pooh. Hi. I tried to squash the beef with Carly, but she wasn't having it, and neither was I. But I have a serious issue about what she was telling the other girls. I'm disappointed that Sierra wasn't at my cocktail party because BK tried to talk to me and I shut it down. I wanted to come um, talk to you about Cancun, yeah. but Carly beat me to the punch. I met you through Carly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now today oh, you come, ago, you're right? coming today to tell me Carly said. No, I'm you can't be trusted. You got a pass, right? Yeah, I got a pass. You used to be a whole stripper, so you probably no, still I have that stripper, but never a mentality. Home. We don't give a about what Carly Red said. She said a lot of shit around. And I don't give a about what Carly Red said. about me or what nobody got to say. Well, we don't know what comes. Now they're saying you're the new mind ass bitch, so you might as well. If he gonna do something that's on him, I'm not f***ing with him either. Hey. Why y'all was, why to was having that much conversation? Because he can't I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that with your husband. My um, husband will not be nowhere around you or no, no Listen. Listen. Who? You were supposed to come here, explain, and apologize, not call Sierra a hoe. You are your own worst enemy. What are you saying? And you married? What? 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 Get your ass up out of here. That's what you need to do because you're uninvited. Then nobody tell you to bring your ass up in here, Miss Richie Rich, like you were just gonna be welcome. Hell to the f. This no. to be welcome and this, this is my no. This is my bitch. You need to get your ass, ass up out of here. Shot. You better get your this ass up out of here. You better get your ass up out of here. Somebody just knock her ass out real quick. Talk about what's that bitch? I stress that hoe out. Here's the thing. You, you, what's up? You do not want me to tap your ass, ass Carla. Now. And you stood up on my ass. And I'm standing up, up to let you know you're not standing up on my ass. And I'm standing up on my ass. Cheers,
That's why we here. Everything a problem for Carly. It's our first night in Trinidad, and she act like everything she want to do, we got to like it. Aren't we allowed to have an opinion of our own? My wife ain't got no clothes. You know what I'm saying? We met. Got bad, got lost Daddy in the train. Can you get no luggage? No, no luggage. <gasps> Number oh, but Number but Oh, boy. Thank God for Scrappy changing this subject. Because Carly is already on the bullshit. I need Spice to get her ass here ASAP. So Carly can stop playing tour guide. She's trying to make it like people negative and don't want to be in Trinidad. If I ain't want to be here, I would have took my ass home. I just want you to have a good time. I understand that this is not a culture that you used to. I get it. But the thing is, we are here. Give it a chance. Can't yeah. we just let it go? I thought we would have lots of tails and cocktails. I don't poo-poo, but I see what she's saying. See what she's saying about what? About your ass. OK, so you want, we want to talk about poo. Let me let you listen to her husband say it never happened. I really don't appreciate she kind of bringing up poo. But since you want to bring her up at our little table, let me just prove something to you that I proved to Mo. Her husband, Hiram, confirmed that we never did nothing. Who has been telling everybody that I slept with you and I slept with her? I f***ed your f***, I did this, I f***ed your ass, all type of Yeah, I did this. Thank you. Thank you. It didn't happen. Hey, but can I ask y'all a question? I'm just trying to figure out how I'm here with all these people and my lady. And we talking about somebody whose presence isn't even here right now. Like, I don't even care about none of that. Okay, okay, okay. Anyway, um, <clears throat> Bambi, Scrappy, how's life after the baby? It's good. Scrappy, how's life? It's a blessing. Why you got that too? He has a constant attitude now. I don't know if it's because we ain't getting that cracking like we Ooh. used to, but y'all going through the not getting the cracking phase? Yes, we are. Why? You know what I'm saying? My breasts are leaking for the baby. Like, let me the breast milk. I want the breast milk. I told her I want it. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, I'm a nasty mom. In my experience, when you start getting into, you know, get a little floor pay popping and a little milk come out, you know, he is drink it up and keep it moving. Not like he trying to get a shot glass and be like, you know what, hold up, baby, before we finish, let me guzzle this titty mitt down. Yo, that so dancing, baby, you better f*** in the night. Now, Rashida. You done gave it up since y'all Yes. What? It was first, like, angry. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why the name That's when you still arguing and she talking <laughs> And while she talking all that you just, just aggressively just do what you do. <laughs> she talking <laughs> <laughs> no, for real, when you've been together a long time, you gotta, like, keep this What you do? She, tell us. It's the wigs. Oh, you change the wigs. Oh, that is a blonde. Oh, There's a redhead. Now, I know my robe been bumpy on my mirrors now, but I'm every woman, and it's all in my wigs, baby. There's more than five, maybe about ten, that I transform into. Back in the cookie jar. Acting like me and Kurt don't be getting it popping around this night. Oh. Mm -hmm. I just didn't know you was out of the doghouse yet, bruh. Oh, okay. I'm about to say that. You got me thinking I need to turn up a little bit more while we in Trinidad. Oh, oh. oh. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, I wasn't getting none. You want more? Oh. I'll give you more. Family's house to see my family. No family gonna be cooking though. Some of that island food. I hope so. I want some chicken feet, pigeon ass, all that shit. Pigeon ass. You get some curry goat. Yes. Yeah. 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 Tokyo Shikana and I, we may butt heads sometimes, but it's all love. At least Tokyo's cracking jokes and not complaining anymore. Y'all, they're gonna meet me doing her one way walk. Look. You better walk it out, bitch. some prior obligations in Atlanta, so I couldn't catch the same flight out with everyone else. But the timing was perfect, because while packing, I got a phone call and I ended up not having to fly out alone. I just want to let everybody know that I brought somebody we with got me. Ty? No, Ty's in Israel. Oh, hell no. Shot 
Look on their face. Hi, Shekana. Hi, Tokyo. Hi, Shaq. Why she here? I invited Pooh because, because you guys have been friends for way too long, and I just at least wanted to see if you guys could clear the air. I don't even know what we arguing about, to be honest. Like, the shit is so silly and so petty to me, and we done been through so much together, like, our families entwining. Pooh, I need you to confess that you lied that I ever slept with you and your husband, or you and your husband, and you and your uh, whatever. If you confess that, I'm good. We can move past this. Well, there ain't no priest here, so, you know, the confession, it is what it is. But you need to confess that I never, ever, because you know I never did. Whatever would make you sleep good at night, Carl. No, whatever, whatever would make you whatever. sleep No, no, see? Okay. This is what I'm talking about. I said talk okay, the well, truth. Okay, but wait, 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 We want the truth. Okay, this is the thing. What is your issue with Cardi? She said, Right. Uh -oh. <laughs> she did not like. Oh no. my! John, you know what I'm no, saying. Oh, uh, Ain't no really no. Oh, when you and the are so close together, but so she didn't technically. No, 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 no. Not like that. You see what I'm saying? Me and Boo never did nothing. So all of this, this whole discussion is about alleged sexual encounters that may or may not happen. I hugged the her in the. She. But I think it's time I wave the white flag with no on it. chance to once again stir up some more mess. But Pooh seems sincere to squash this beef with Carly once and for all. I just don't think Carly is here for it. Mimi and I have been talking to Pooh. I heard. Oh, shut up. I met Pooh through a mutual friend, but I've also known Pooh around you. I wanted to try to, you know, like, see if y'all can talk to each other. Speaking of. Hello. Hello. Hopefully, we could try to get y'all to come to some type of resolution. Carly, I just want to put an end to all this, this pettiness. 
I done hit below the belt, you done hit below the belt. Like, aren't you tired of the back and forth? Like, I'm really embarrassed that me and you even going through this. In order for me to meet in the middle, what I need from you is to just admit them. Carly, I lied. Simple. Simple. What is it that you want her to say that she lied about exactly? That I ever slept with her husband? That I ever slept with her? I never did that. Who is flat out refusing to say that did not happen? So something she's is, not, something ain't right. Like, something something transpired. The truth is the truth, and I'm not gonna lie to save your ass, bitch. My point is coming here so we can dead this, get past this, and move on. These days, who cares about a threesome? Damn, everybody that has one. Damn, there. You see what I said? It's not even. My dude, he don't give a whether we slept together or not. When I met my dude, I stopped with you. He like, baby, that was before me. <laughs> yeah, well, that's good. He's like, baby, I don't give a f that was before me, because it was, right? Yeah, okay. It was. I've heard Carly deny, deny, deny that anything has ever happened between her, Pooh, and Hiram. But from where I'm standing, it seems like Pooh's version of the story might be a little bit closer to the truth. So what hurts me the most is that you didn't respect my child. My daughter has to, you know what I'm saying, deal with that. And that's why I'm here saying we need to squash this. Okay, be, but, but, you know, but, but, I, but, but for, for my child's sake, just admit that you lied. Okay, having a front row seat to this comedy is something else. Carly is over here demanding an apology for her grown-ass daughter? I wish I could say this is out of character for Carly, but it ain't. Whatever you need me to say for your daughter not to be feeling some kind of way, you got that. Bye. Carly. Come on. She don't get it. Okay. You, 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 you I get, get it. it. I'm going to sleep on it. I'm going to sleep on it. But I'm thank stop. you for submitting the truth that I, I didn't. Because I don't care. Yeah, let me go on and get some souvenirs yeah, for my husband. I have tried. I don't know. I'm done. What was the deal with the sheets? Girl, she's on my damn sheets. He f***ed her in the and she f***ed on my sheets. So when and me and kept the sheets, I brought the sheets because I had to bring my receipts. I just want to hear what you, you know, what the deal is. Like, what the f***? Because she did play an audio with your husband on the phone saying, y'all ain't Hell and he didn't mess with her. See, this is the that pissed me off about her because she tricked him. She called him and said, my daughter is listening. She was crying. She heard about us having this threesome or whatever, whatever. Could you tell her it's not true? She look up to you like an uncle. He's not going to tell somebody's daughter right. that I your mother in the you see what I'm saying? He's not gonna oh say God. that. Carly swore on her daughter's heartbeat. Carly did that so her fiance could hear it. So she called Hiram and he told you on what to say. He, he told me. Listen to this. Hold on, hold on. No, I'm not gonna tell the truth about me. Mm -hmm. Big no keys, don't kiss and tell. Call me back. This voice message is funny. Cause Hiram talking about, oh geez, don't kiss and tell. Oh geez, don't leave long ass voice messages neither. Talking about who they didn't did <laughs> To be honest with you, this is a lot. And with all of these different things being said, somewhere along the line, something went down. Did you see that? Oh, oh yes, yes. Oh, oh yeah. I'm excited for my show Monday. Oh my goodness, oh, I cannot my. wait. Yes. As fun as damnation, because that. Oh my God! Oh my God! I was in my own world. Girl, I don't even know why this one. She dead to me. I buried her. Why y'all can't let this go? Y'all grown ass yeah. women with grown ass Carly, we need to let it like, go. At the end of the day, I feel like it was childish on Pooh behalf, and maybe she should apologize for that. But go and tell it anybody. What y'all had going on in the bedroom, it ain't nobody business. So that was some little girl on her behalf. Okay, okay. I'm past all of that. She said it happened. It didn't happen. I said it did happen. I'm not going to lie on my daughter. I don't want to keep hearing about this same stupid story every time we link up. Call it my on my sheet. And on top of that, Carly don't have to admit to you that she did this and she's embarrassed. But I just want to say, who you think put it in the vlog? I don't know who the 
put in the blog. As much as I try to rekindle this friendship, I always try to stay out of the gossip because I left before the alleged incident happened. But if it will end the debate, I can only tell you what I saw and what I remember. This is all I know. The night that a bunch of the friends went out. Allegedly, everybody left and Carly stayed behind. A couple of days later, the was in the blogs that Carly slept with Hiram and, and Pooh. Exactly. And that was the chain of events. I have the best solution ever. Let's go take a lie detector test. I, I administrated because guess what? I don't have no dog in this fight. Let's do that. I do believe that lie detectors work, and I'm tired of this bullshit that's going on. If Pooh's been lying all this time, she's going to hell. And Carly, if you're lying, I can see why you would lie. I would have lied too. Somebody bringing out all that kind of talking about that. I probably would have been like, hell no, I ain't did it either. Let's do that. That's my best song. Yeah, let's do it. Between working on the lounge and putting on these relationship seminars and now this event, child, it has been a whirlwind. But I like to be productive, and I'm really happy with the way this event turned out. This is absolutely good. So how's everything been? Everything has been fine. You see, I got Jasmine with me today. I know, and I'm not going to talk about any drama stuff, but I do want to say I heard about the birthday party. Yes. OK, but we ain't going to talk about it today. Okay. But okay. I'll call you, mm -hmm. and we'll discuss it. Yes. I'm so glad y'all are together. I ain't seen you in Asia. I need to see your son. Man. Oh, my God. We just started 13th of February. Wow, that's crazy. Hey, how are you? Nice to be. Thank oh. you. Hey. I'm way more credible as a mother than Carly. That's why I was invited to this dinner. But long as Carly stay over there on the other end at her table and keep it cute, that's all with Max. Y'all can sit over there yeah. at that table. Okay. Yeah? Okay. Right, we'll get started in a second. Okay, sweetheart. All right, let's enjoy ourselves yes, we're today. Enjoy ourselves. It's, it's a mother's quality daughter time thing. with let's mother and daughter. daughter. All right. Thanks for inviting us. <laughs> Nice. You like it? Hey, I want to thank all of you guys that came out to the mother and daughter dinner. So I'm going to be going around letting the mothers and the daughters both give dedications to each other. Rashida and Kurt got me hosting these relationship seminars. And now I'm emceeing this mother and daughter event. Damn, the props are keeping me busy. But I am so ecstatic to be doing this. My mother is the absolute <laughs> I just appreciate her for being exactly who she is and just showing us how to be the best we can be. I am truly blessed, truly honored to have an amazing mother. You've taught me how to be strong, and I think that's so important. You might not always agree with my decisions, but you always have my back, and then I love you, and I thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Greetings all, my name is Najee and I am Pooh's daughter. I like to say that you can measure your success by how successful your children are. Um, just from my accomplishments alone, me finishing college, my master's, getting my DDS, my mom helping me through all of that. Um, <laughs> look, I knew this was gonna happen. I would like to thank my mother for giving me everything that I've wanted at the age of 25. And I absolutely love her. And I know my two other sisters would feel the same way. Aww. That was so sweet and well performed. This pool lady runs me the wrong way. She always wants to talk about her sex life and no one cares. But I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt tonight at this classy event. I'm going to make sure that everything stays appropriate. I came to see Carly and Carly's daughter. Your daughter is beautiful, friend. Tell me your daughter's name. Jasmine. I want you to give a dedication to your mother. So, I love my mom. She's very strict on me. She makes sure like I'm doing everything I need to do in life. She wants me on the right track, and I appreciate it for that. So, Carly, what is it that you want to tell your amazing daughter that you stay in her ass on? <laughs> yes. You 
guys don't really get to see my daughter because I, I shelter her. It's been bothering me because my daughter had quit school because she's been teased about some things that's been going on. And, um, baby, you gotta graduate. Don't worry about what these people say. You need to get your ass back in school yesterday. I just wanted to let you know and let everybody else know. I took a lie detector test to prove to my friends and my daughter and my family and, you know, you should kind of to prove that any accusations about me have been wrong. So all the teasing that you've been getting, anything that people say about you is not true at all. Oh, Lord, no, here. my friend. Here's my problem that family. It's OK. Don't worry about it, Carly. It's OK. so hopeful for this event. Shekana and Pooh were able to put their differences to a side and just be kind to each other. And then here goes Carly, who has to reveal a lie detector test. Why here? Why now? I believe you are right. I you said you took a right. lie detector test about so what? What, the what is she talking about? Because well, we don't they understand. understand. Well, what the f*** is she talking is so desperate. I can't believe she took a lie detector test without us around. I don't trust nothing that comes out of your mouth and no paperwork from you, okay? So you can take that lie detector test and stick it up your ass. Wait a minute, we need, y'all need to sit down. I'm arresting all of you. I'm arresting you, bitch. Get the out of here. You bitch. defending herself against an old friend's allegations of a threesome gone awry. Was there really one poo too many between the sheets? Let's see if we can get to the bottom of it. When I brought my relationships around you, you were so touchy-feely. But you high run so what's the difference? What, what you talking about? You high run you my and you That's my stupid. ass. You are a liar. You bitch, you on my mother sheets. You owe me Accusations about me have been wrong. You said you took a lie detector test about but what? But what was the accusation, though? But what was the accusation, uh, though? Baby. Oh, oh, she always crying. She cry about every damn thing. <laughs> I love it. Carly, how has this drama with Pooh affected your life? At this point in the game, I'm like, who is that? A Miss Doodoo, a Miss Fart. I got my own sex toy line, and I got my own license in sexology. Okay. Why the f would I give a f about saying that I f this bitch and her husband? If it was true, I would not have a problem saying, oh yeah, I f so what? It's not true. Let's talk a little bit about these sheets. There was a little bit of, of chatter online that those cheetah print sheets were not $750 sheets. Were they yeah, really? they were $750. Like, millionaire got, sleep what on money you got? very, very what high thread count you sheets. got? You broke bitch, ass bitch. Broke you ain't ass got no bitch. money, ho. You ain't no millionaire. You got a mother hair salon that I had in the 80s. <laughs> I don't your kind, you old ass lady. Bitch, give it to me. Okay, let me say one thing. Facts is facts. First of all, bitch, I'm 29. Bitch, you my mama age, probably my grandma. Let's say that. I was married eight years. Rashida, you been married for a long time. It's in public mother records when you get married. Bitch, I looked you up, ho. You ain't married, bitch. The last time you, your husband was married in 2014 to another bitch. It's in 
the record, bitch. Your name is the Janelle Campbell. You ain't got no mother money, you ass prostitute ass strip ass bitch. Uh, and I don't act hard, so but bitch, I will have your old ass so tied wrong. up in this bag. Play with me, bitch. You shut the. You raggedy ass. Worried about the rats and roaches running around your goddamn shop, bitch. I almost got my foot caught in them oh goddamn. My Producers were able to track down information about your marriage certificate, Pooh. You and Hiram applied for a license in 2013, but you never returned with the proper paperwork to make it legal. Okay, listen, this is the thing. My marriage license have a mother license. I ain't okay. got to prove to none, to none of these bitches. Okay. My re speak for itself. When I get my license at one mother state and get married off the mother, okay. I ain't got to put on no mother date. So it's legal. It's these not bitches. in Georgia. These bitches. I'm still confused. Okay. Them all. I got the baddest mother house all in the country cause the richest mother division in Georgia. This bitch don't even know what the she's talking about. It's too much. Can you not live better than me? Don't play me. It's don't play me. I'm not call it this Bitch. You guys, let's regroup. Let's regroup. Let's regroup. I know the things went left, and some of the ladies are feeling a little bit of way of some of the things that Pooh was saying about the houses and the rings and being the baddest. Rashida, you are a veteran on the stage. Do you have anything to add and try to get us back on track? I just think this is just way too much. Like, sheets, people's relationship, this, that, this, and the third, who got what. Don't none of that make no difference. Okay, let's finally put this to rest. Carly, we know that you took your own lie detector test to get to the bottom of sheet gate. People doubted your results. So we brought in our own polygraph expert to administer a test. Now we offered it to both ladies, but only Carly was willing to sit down and get tested. Oh! Why was that? Pooh, hey, why I'm took my own life Pooh, detector test? Come on, come on now. Baby girl, ain't nobody Do listening. Do you want to see my results as well? Clear. Unfortunately, because you decided to do it on your own and not do it with the show, that was biased. But this has been a point of contention the whole show. So why not just do the lie detector test? Because I wanted somebody to take the lie detector test that didn't know me, Carl, it had nothing to do with nothing. Because at okay. the end of the day, they told me that Kendra was going to give the lie detector test the last time I had a conversation. Okay, so we're going to take a look when Carly sat down with polygraph examiner Mike The Truth Williams. Is your name Carly? Yes. Are you now in the city of Atlanta? Yes. Have you ever told a lie? Yes. Have you and Pooh ever had sexual intercourse? And of course, sexual intercourse means the consummation of the sex act. No. Have you ever had a threesome with Pooh and Hiram? No. Did you defecate on Pooh's bed? No. Have you and Pooh ever been sexually intimate? What I mean by that is any type of kissing, hugging, groping. No. Have you and Hiram ever had any physical sexual contact, such as oral sex, anal sex, vaginal touching of any type, breast touching or kissing, penal touching or kissing? No. He asked her five questions with three possible outcomes. Deception indicated, no deception indicated, or inconclusive. I'm gonna read the results right here. The first question was, have you and Pooh ever had sexual intercourse? The result was, no deception indicated. Second question, have you ever had a threesome with Pooh and Hiram? The result was, no deception indicated. Third question, did you defecate on Pooh's bed? Oh my God. The results, <laughs> no deception indicated. Oh, oh, Y'all wanna read my test results? Oh no, bitch, you don't wanna read okay. your okay. a liar. You got Let me introduce you to a hypothetical liar. And this is what a hypothetical liar looks like. Uh, 
Bible. We have two more questions. Let's ask there were two all. more questions with the polygraph. The fourth question was, have you and Pooh ever been sexually intimate? The result was inconclusive. Oh. Oh. We slept in a bed together plenty of times at my house. When she got her ass shots done in my house, we slept in a bed together. Baby girl. She had to lift her ass up. This so bitch is emotional. Her ass. Baby girl, you had plenty of ass shots with inclu- yes, without I me. Yes, I did, and you didn't and do at what? my and house. You slept at with my house, and you slept in my house. house. See, I tell the and truth. Outside of my house. I bitch, tell the truth. In front of my, you can all right, guys, we got one more question. Number five, have you and Hiram ever had any physical sexual contact? The result was inconclusive. I never touched this bitch. So you're saying you never touched him. I gotta go to Mimi. Later in the show, it came out that you possibly witnessed something going on between Carly and Poop. Can you explain what you saw? Yes, I did not witness anything going on. What happened was a bunch of us had gone out we would go back to the studio, which her husband owned at the time, and we would hang out. Everyone left. Carly was still there. A couple of days later, it was in the blogs that there was a threesome. That's it. I wasn't there. I didn't see anything. That's just the facts of what happened that particular night. I don't know Pooh, okay. but I've known Carly for years, and I've known everybody that we see for a long time before I ever even knew of a Pooh. I know Shay Mack, and me and Shay Mack have had situations where we had to talk about stuff, and I know Shay Mack have been approached with deal doors just for going over someone's house. <laughs> well, maybe if you go over to someone's house and they pull out deal doors and they may rub on you or touch you, Carly Hale says she touch your feeling. That's why you don't have a man because you are a man. I don't want a man because I don't oh, want to okay. have to do what you do. Yeah, fat, short, and ugly, and uncomfortable looking, and uncomfortable oh, looking girl. bitch. Baby, That's girl. why you ain't got you a man. Not gonna f- this my friend. Carly, stop crying, talk to this bitch. bitch. I need you to sit down because I got my own. I could care less what this lady think about me. I choose to be single, okay? I know for a fact it's affected my daughter's life. My daughter didn't want to go to school no more. I'm one who's honest about my sexuality. If I the bitch, I'll say, yeah, bitch, I'll you now what? I don't tell you, I'll take 10 lie detector tests. I want to go to the Love and Hip Hop Court of Public Opinion by a round of applause. How many of you believe Carly is telling the truth? leaning a little bit more towards Carly, but that's good enough for me right now. We're gonna shift gears. Karen King, but everyone calls me KK. I'm here with my sons, Saz and Scrap, to do a tribute for my nephew, Dollar. He was killed in 2009. My family thought we would never recover from it. We've had a couple of hard years separated by having to go to jail, but I know one thing, we're back together now, and today is the day we're getting the King family back on track. When you talk about the King family, we talking about the notorious kind of family. You know what I'm saying? KK is a force to be reckoned with. Don't nobody mess with her family. You did. They definitely got a reputation in Atlanta. I mean, it's like they feared and they respected. You know what I'm saying? These folk crazy. Crazy. Oh, I think that's Auntie. KK is not only the mother of my man, she's also my friend. So when she pulled me aside at the Dollar Tribute to tell me like she had something to talk to me about, I knew it had to be important. What I need to talk to you about, this Tierra. Tierra is my son's baby's mother. She has been a nightmare in my life since I met her. The only good thing she's done is give birth to my grandson, King. I have had to endure Tierra for three years, running around, thinking she's better than everybody, and all she does is sling drinks. Tierra and Scrap broke up supposedly 
a couple of years ago, I thought I was rid of her. I even hooked Scrap up with my friend Tommy. But recently, I got a mother's intuition that Tierra is creeping back up into my son's scrap life, and no matter what, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to make sure that don't happen. You already know I don't trust Tierra. KK hates Tierra because she says she killed her dog some years back and she's still not over that. We have never met, even though I helped Scrap take care of their son, King. I just got reason to believe that Scrap is doing more than co-parenting with Tierra. I'm about to rebuild the King Empire. Tierra and no bitch that look like Tierra is gonna interfere with that. I've been feeling uncomfortable myself. Like, never having met your baby mother, don't know what the f this relationship really is, how it ended, if it's really over. I just want you to pay attention. I don't know what the f they're doing. He's going over there sleeping. All I'm saying, as a woman, do you understand? It's like you and King and Scrap, y'all like a family. I introduce y'all. I just see the electricity. Yeah. Do you understand? And it seems like I'm being messy. But I'm not. KK usually doesn't get involved with Scrap and I's business. So for her to lay all this on me, it's making me think something is going on. You just got to get to the bottom of it. I know she work. Well, then go there. Make your presence known. You know how to swag it. I'm going to get down to the bottom of it. I'm going to go check the bitch out. Like, I got you. I'm looking forward to great things this year. I'm still looking for a label. I'm still looking for a real manager, and I might even be looking for a man. But tonight, it's all about the girls. Carly invited me out tonight, and she may be messy as hell, but the girl knows how to have some fun. After Dollar's tribute the other night, Tommy hit me up and asked me to meet her at some crazy-ass club. I don't really know Tommy that well, but she seems cool. And I brought someone that's always ready for the turn up, Miss Jessica Dobb. <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, miss. KK told me I need to keep an eye out for Scraps, baby mama. I know where she works, so here I am. This is Dime. How you doing? Nice to meet you. This bitch don't even know I exist, let alone what I look like. So I'm deep undercover right now. I love this number right here, girl. This is from my store in LA. I was just in LA. I was out there with Stevie and um, Jocelyn, my girl Jocelyn. Your girl, Jocelyn. Y'all had fun in LA? We did. Jocelyn and I supposedly hugged it out. But when I thought about all the things she did to me last year, I realized that I just don't need people like that in my life. And we have no relationship. I've known Jocelyn and Stevie for two years total. Oh, since I've been girl, well, you don't know Jocelyn, then. I really like her, genuinely. I think no, she's a I real know, bitch. You know what? I can't f with fake friends. Yeah, if somebody turn on me. too phony for me. What's your smoke with Jocelyn? She act like she ain't know me. But then she turned around and said she did. Why do you think that she would deny you like that? She doesn't want to, like, deal with her past because she's she maybe embarrassed by I see it. We not vibing. I'm Tierra. I'm your waitress. I am I'm Jessica. I'm Carly. Tommy. Nice to meet you. What y'all drinking? I want some Syrah. Syrah, straight up? Yeah, we don't play no games around here. Hey, I'm a Chardonnay. All right. <laughs> so, girl, you say you wanted me to come hang out. So. You celebrate so. My little waitress is a BM to my <laughs> So I figured I would come here and check in and just see what's all this about. And she does not know who the f I am. So I like everybody to remain oh. undercover. Wait, 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 hold up. We here to spy? Let me pull my binoculars out, sip some tea, and have some fun. Okay, so Scrap, this is his baby mother. Uh -huh. Now I want to put a face to this person that I've been hearing about. I need to see who the f this is. Hey, lady. <laughs> this whole spying thing is Carly's M.O., but not mine. But I would expect nothing more from someone who calls Jocelyn a friend. You gorgeous to be a waitress. You definitely somebody we like to hang. We like hanging on with bad yeah. bitches. <laughs> with a bad bitch. Mm -hmm. So you was telling me about Stevie J. Stevie who, J? Stevie yeah, J? Stevie J. Oh, that's like my uncle. Scratch my baby father. Y'all know them? We, well, yeah. No, we no just heard about him. Are you with your baby daddy? We family. I hold him down. Y'all live together? No, nah, we don't live together. We have a kid together. He's a good dad. So I that's hold it, him it's down. just dad or y'all, like, when be I kicking feel, it. When I feel like it. When I feel like it. This bitch says she deals with him when she feels like it. Right about now, it's taking everything in me to hold my composure and not blow up my spot. I'm here to get tea. If y'all need anything, just let me know. I'm not gonna snatch her right here, right now. My beef is not with her. My beef is with Scrap. If his relationship with Tiara is more than he says it is, he's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. Now that you've invited me out to your messy situation, there's a party 
that I want to invite you guys to. Mimi's having a party. What kind of party? It's just a birthday party for her, a new boo. Oh, she got a new? Yeah, she got a new boo. OK. You going to come? I'll be there. OK, so we're going to the party. But excuse me, ain't nobody better than Carly Red when it comes to the spy game. So ladies, sit back and watch a professional spy do the work. I'm going to invite you to a party. Would you come? Uh, I will come. I like her. I like I'm her. there. So I'm going to get your number, and then we're going to hang out. Carly Red is not playing no games. I may be in love with this girl. I can't think of a better way to get in this girl's head. We'll hang out, we'll be friends, then I'm going to let her know just who she's dealing with. She's a sexy mother I'm sorry. He some bad ass bitch. Uh, uh. So Scrap is on his way over here to talk, and honestly, I'm not sure what I want to say to him. Trolling on Tierra at the club got me kind of twisted, but I'm trying not to jump to conclusions. I just want the truth, and that only can come from Scrap. So my plan is to lay it on him good and sexy and see if he's man enough to be honest with me. What is a special occasion? You. All this sexy time you got going on is what kind of got me sprung, but I'm not getting distracted tonight. I got some information that I ain't too happy about, so I'm here to find out what my girl's been up to. You know how small the city of Atlanta is? Let me tell you something I heard. I heard you were with somebody at a club discussing things that shouldn't have been discussed. Things like what? Me. Go, I'm listening. I went to this place. I don't know, Carly invited me to some place to have Ooh. a drink. Carly. I already don't like the way this is going. Somebody else came up talking about they knew Stevie J and it was hate uncle. Who's saying someone? Tierra. A king's mother. My baby mother. Tierra. So I got busted. I checked out your baby mother. Now are you gonna tell me the truth about what's going on? Are you f***ing her scrap? Are you f***ing that bitch? No. What? You believe everything you hear? I don't believe everything I see right now. What do you see? I'm right here with you right now. You're so fake, dog. Oh, my God. So do not try to play me like I'm just a fool out here. For real. You know what time it is. You know I got a baby mama. You know I have a son. And it, it ain't never been no pressure until somebody brought it to me that you were still seeing her. Are you? Have what is it? OK, what it's going to be? Like, I'm not sticking around for no bullshit. I don't do too well to threats. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I, I want to understand. I don't understand. Me and Tierra got a good situation. We co-parent. Don't come in between a good thing I have. What's a good thing you have? You and baby mother and you and me? Is that Me being able to parent and be the father to my child with no goddamn headache. Why don't she know about me anyway? Like, are you hiding me because you're still her? It ain't, uh, that, it ain't it? that she don't know about you. It's that I don't feel the need to tell her my business, who I'm talking to. I feel to. the need. Either you're going to tell her about me, or I'm going to tell her who the I am. Scrap needs to grow some balls and let Tierra know that he has a woman. It's simple as that. All of these excuses are sounding like nonsense. Scrap, let's not play games here, OK? Don't worry about it. I'll tell her. <laughs> i tell her what you are to me. Don't she, worry she, about she it. hear from the horse's mouth. I don't take too kindly to threats. She want me to talk to Tierra, but I'm going to do it when I feel like it. I'll tell her, all right? came here to celebrate Mimi's man's birthday party. But we find out that Mimi's man is a woman. Hi, But I think this party is just about to get started. Tommy wants to get to know her man's baby mama. So I invited her, and she actually showed up. Oh, what's going on, girl? My man Scrap promised me that he was going to tell Tierra about me in a relationship that he kept secret from her for a year. But I'm looking at this girl, and she looks a little too happy to see me. If Scrap did what he was supposed to do and tell her about me, she wouldn't be walking in with this big-ass grin on her face. Some tell me I'm going to have to knock that smile off her face before the end of the night, and I just hope she's ready. What are you trying to This is Tommy. Chardonnay, the same thing you served ah, me. Well, come on, give me some of Tommy. I served her a lot of it. My social life has been non-existent since I started working my second job at the club. So when Carly followed up with the invitation, I figured, why not go? A waitress is just what I do two days a week. I work for the largest financial firm in the country. Oh! Uh, so I'm a shark. When are you a mom? Did this chick just ask me when I'm a mom? I'm a mom all day, every day. Not that it's any of your business. You do this all the time? Like, you meet girls and you come and hang out with them? I do it when I feel like it. You do it every you feel. I do everything when, when I feel, feel like, like being a mom. mom. This chick's up in here fronting like she's a boss. Meanwhile, she's slinging drinks in some club while me and Scrap keep her kid. It's time for this chick to face some truth. Why y'all beefing? Ain't no beef. Tommy is calling out Tierra faster than Tierra can even respond. You asking about kids like you know my kids. I do know your kids. How do you know my kids? I know your kids because I know your baby daddy. I know your baby daddy because I sit on his like almost every other night. 
And then she went in for the kill. I'm that bitch. No, I know my baby daddy. He would never. So what you talking? Ever. You sound crazy, bitch. Exactly. Calm down. Calm down, calm down, calm down honey. Calm down. Let me tell you something Don't about Tommy. Me. What? What about Let me Tommy? tell you something what about, about Tommy. Tommy. What's good? Let me tell you something. Chris and I are having a great time at this party. All of a sudden, I see these two women rolling around on the floor, beating each other up, and guess what? Diamond Carly right up in the middle of the bull You was together with me when the bitch was messy, first of all. She should at least wore some panties. I saw vagina hairs flying and pubic hairs flying. Tommy, did your mama teach you to wear panties? This was a really big night for Chris and I, and it was completely ruined by two Hood rats that I didn't even invite to the party. Bitch, she's got me f***ed up. X, X, Pippin', she say y'all I do is dog a eye. No, no, Pippin', she say y'all I do is dog a eye. I can't keep up with the sh**. Why? I just dog a mile. I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. After I was attacked by that gutter rat last night, I spent all day at urgent care. And I had plenty of time to research the crazy trash that scraps the smashes. I'm a dog, I'm a dog, I'm a dog. I didn't like what I found, including a criminal history and a picture of her and my son on social media. This bitch got 32 mug shots. Scrap has obviously lost his mind. But all that is about to change. Me and Scrap is gonna have a conversation tonight, and if he can't fix his my son, I gotta take him away from all of that. Oh, can y'all give me two seconds, all right? Yeah. I'm, I'm Gucci. All right. What's up? Why didn't you tell me you was coming? What happened to your wrist and your finger? You with somebody named Tommy? So it's evident Tommy was running her mouth. Even after I told her I would tell Tierra about us. And with Tierra standing here all banged up and bruised with bandages, it's obviously done been a run in. And this time, I think I might be in trouble. Why are you so upset? Tell me, tell me what's wrong. The bitch she say she sit on your every single night. But you know that's not true, because I'll be with you some nights. How long have you been with her? Yeah, we've had had dealings. We have. I could sit here and lie and make things worse, or I could just stand here and take the L and hope being honest wins me some points. How long have you been with her? Uh, about a year. Do she know me and you around still? Do she know I hold you down? Yeah, she definitely know that. Do you be having my son around her? He's been around before. I am, I am King's mom, and you gonna put me in jeopardy? I hold you down. I hold you down. I hold you down. So all this time, I thought Scrap and I was focusing on getting our relationship on the right track. Meanwhile, he's smashing this piece of trash. He can do whatever he want with his penis, but what he will not do is subject my son to the trash that he's been dealing with. I take care of your kid. I held you down. And then you gonna put me in a position where a bitch can come to my job? This type of reaction is exactly why I ain't tell Tierra about Tommy. What she didn't know was not hurting her nor me. I'm good. You won't see your son again till you fix it. Listen, that ain't got nothing to do you with it. You won't see him again. I put that on my life. Listen, the kids are innocent. You're not seeing him until you fix it. How would you like me to fix it? You need to stop with this bitch, and you need to let this bitch know where I stand. That's what you need to do. This she is knows. not good enough anymore. You know we just got out of a rocky thing, and we still trying to get back to where we once were. So you I can't think you get... with a whole nother bitch for a year gonna get us back to where we once were? I'm gonna fix it, all right? I want to be there when you do. I want to sit across from this hoe and see the look on her face when Scrap let her know that we are still dealing with each other. Bitch, I got his baby. I'm not going anywhere. One thing we need to make crystal clear is that Tommy will not be spending time with my son ever. I'm walking away, Scrap. Until you fix this, I'm done. I can't keep going through this. I'm gonna believe it when I see it. For a whole year, I've been able to keep the women in my life apart. But now, everything's blowing up in my face. Tierra think the way to fix it is for us all to sit down and hash things out. I think that's the craziest shit I ever heard in my life. Yeah, say I'm mad at Tommy for fighting Tierra, but right now, honestly, I'm afraid to lose my son. So I'm here to do everything in my power so I can fix things and see my son. Who is it? Come find out. I left it up to Scrap to handle his business and tell his baby mother about me, but he was too chicken to handle it, so now he got me and this girl fighting in the club. I come in peace. Oh. I'll spend my money on that. OK. I mean, what does he want from me? You want to get back with your baby mother? I'm not going to stop you. 
team that. What do you need, Scrap? What do you, you need? You see me calling? Why you ain't answering the phone? Cause I'm not in a phone answering mood. Now you don't want to talk. Why? No, I don't want to talk. Your baby mother threw a drink at me. I'm but... sure she didn't just throw the drink on you for no reason. She threw a drink on me because you didn't handle what the you were supposed to handle. I already spoke to her. She asked me about Tommy. I told her about Tommy. I told what? you who what? you were what? and who you are to me. And we've been in a relationship. That's what I told her. Why? Who the f I look like? Boo boo the f fool. You told you me you want to sit there. Did you you not... think you gonna bring some flowers, some pink ass mother? Flowers and everything gonna be on my Can't, can't nobody tell me where and how to go. I didn't come to fight. You just need some time. You ready to talk? Call me anytime, all right? Okay? Well, let me lock you out because I just was like, girl, the f this Tiara f she came to me like she put the moon. Tommy may be the craziest woman I ever met in my life. But that's what I like about it, because she loves hard. And right now, I ain't really trying to let her go. You got me f***ed up. I don't want you to cry. You're gonna cry about a lot of shit. Don't let this be one of them. All right? I used to f*** with Tiara. Yes. Why you want to ask me a question you don't want to know the answer to? Let's, have, let's get out of here. I know if I leave here without getting Tommy to agree to sit down with Tiara, I know I won't be able to see my son. So all I can do is lay everything out on the line. Tommy knows how much my son means to me. So if she's not willing to sit down for me, maybe she'll do it for King. Tommy, listen, you asked me a question, I was honest. You're a liar. You, re you, you get loyalty and lying confused. I'm supposed to have my baby, but I don't got him because of the situation y'all went through. So we need to sit down, me, you, and Tiara. I don't need y'all fighting. Yeah. Do you want to deal with else. me without Tiara? Yep, I do. I'm not trying to give up the last year of my life over some baby mama who can't possibly give Scrap what I give him. Do you love me, Scrap? Why, well, you just asked me that the other, other day. I'm asking you today. Even if I say that, let my actions show that, all right? Because them three words ain't with no verb put to it. Tonight, I'm here to do everything in my power to fix things so Tierra let me see my son. I done thought long and hard of what I'm gonna say to these two women. Both of them want me to tell the other one that I'm done. And quite frankly, I don't think I'm ready to do that. I don't do ultimatums, I'm a man of options. I got a lot on my plate right now. I might have to do some time. I just wanna clean this up so we can all get along just in case the worst happens. I don't know what to do but keep it 100. I need them to understand my situation and be there for me. Mm -hmm. Give me a hug, man. Don't do that. Give me a hug. Don't do that, we not on hug your time. Scrap promised to fix his situation tonight. I need to make sure that Scrap is serious about fixing his life. He's supposed to dead his situation with Tommy the Thief, and I get to be here to watch. If he doesn't fix this tonight, he won't get to see his son. The only reason I came here is to see the look on Tierra's face when Scrap tells her there'll be no more secret smashing. Hello, Tommy. Hello, honey. I'm his girl, she's his baby mama. Scrap's finally about to tell that bitch to stay in her lane. Tierra, Tommy, Tommy, Tierra. Thank y'all both for coming here. Y'all wouldn't even have a problem if it wasn't for me. But I brought y'all here because I got other stuff going on. I have a court case that I've been fighting. I had to take a deal, which possibly means I may be going away soon, a couple months. Everything is coming to a head. I don't want to be in a position to where I got to do this and got to pull and got to pick and got to choose. Listen, listen, I don't even have the liberty to do any of those type of things right now because of what I'm facing. How? Because of what I'm going, I need support. You want some personal pen pals. That's what the you just said. Scrap may have to do some jail time, and I'm sorry for that. But who I'm starting to feel more sorry for is myself, because he hasn't mentioned anything about breaking off with Tierra. And it's dawning on me that I've been a real fool out here. You not finna get a pack of ramen noodles from me. Scrap got me up. If you gonna tell me about possible time you may have served, you need to serve this bitch her eviction papers. Maybe seeing his son isn't as important to him as he say it is. I'm not finna go through this again. And that's how you feel, I have to, I have He's to respect He's not finna it. go through this again. The last time Scrap went away, I held him down. I sent him money. I worked two and three jobs and did whatever I had to do to take care of my man. He want to mess with this raggedy bitch? Let her take care of him. See how far he go. What did you bring me here today? You said you was going to fix this. I just told you. You said you going to stop I... with her? You said you going to stop with this bitch, right? What did you tell her? You're supposed to cut me off. You're supposed to let me go. I don't know how you cut something off <laughs> or let it go none. or do any of that. So you, so you in love with her? 
Why, why are we no, talking no, about no, in so love? You love that's, that's no, I'm question. not in love. I'm not in love. You run a game between me and her? It ain't game. No, if no, it was it game, just, you just got it's, it's, everything is on the you. table right now. So you had bitches coming to my job? Your job, bitch. We don't work right here. Listen, 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 after Scrap tries to sit me and Tierra down to ask both of us to hold him down while he goes to prison, I was just done. Sayonara and have a nice life with your baby mother. But then Jocelyn hits me with a third chick that got the nerve to be ugly living in a house. I don't want to believe that Scrap hit a girl under my nose for a whole year, but he did hide his relationship with Tierra from me, so that proves that he's been living a double life and maybe even a triple life. And I want to know right now how much a liar he is. So no, I'm not done. I'm rolling up to see exactly who I've been dealing with for the last year of my life. I see Tommy banging on my door, and I'm like, what the f now? Everything that can go wrong in my life right now is. And I'm just hoping Tommy ain't here to add to the problems. What a bitch at? What are you doing? What you talking about? What you come on, but what the f are you doing? Get the f off of me. What the f is wrong with you? What a bitch at? <laughs> I came over here all sexy on purpose. You want to play me? Take a look at what you won't play with anymore. What the f is you wearing? Did you come to fight a f? Which one is it, man? Whatever it is you're looking for, I hope you find it. Tell me what you're looking for. What a bitch at? You find it. What a bitch at? I'm behind a f in the damn f. Your hands on me. F you. Tommy pops up at my house wearing her damn lingerie. Not only do I not know what she talking about, but I wish she ain't look so damn good when she acting crazy. You find what you looking for? Let me tell you something, Scott. I'm listening. Let me tell you something. It's obvious she looking for somebody or something that ain't here. And right now, I need to calm her down and see what the hell she talking about. What the f is wrong? Jocelyn told me that you got some ugly bitch going on at the house that nobody mother know about. First of all, I ain't running up in nothing ugly. And second, T.T. Jocelyn and Tommy done lost their damn mind. You went through my bed, you went to the bathroom, you looked in the laundry room. Did you find anything? Are you happy? Because all you did done made a fool of yourself. And now you want to cry, and you want to be the victim. I ain't mother crying. I'll never try to mother play me. You know what time it is, so you already know what stress I got on me. And you still want to keep chaos going on. Now that I'm here, I'm feeling crazy as hell. Like, I've been in this house a million times. I've been with Scrap for a year. It's no signs of nothing. So is Jocelyn just messing with my head, or does this man have me losing my damn mind? I'm starting to think I might be better off without any of them in my life. You, your That's door, your you house, your mother, you your mother you goddamn fake up. ass, blended ass family with Stevie and Jocelyn. F all of y'all mother Okay? You and you, you, you know you what you be, really you, need. You, you, so what rush. Really, you can't even put your jacket on. What y'all really need to hey, be worried about is mother a check, bitch. So today, I have someone come in to visit after hours at the store. I got to handle my business. I would have told Tommy, but she said she doesn't want to hear any of my news. Hello. How you doing? Oh, well, Tommy, I guess the fact that I'm getting ready to do a business deal with your man is something you'd rather not know. Infamous Carly Red. <laughs> Carly Red reached out to me and said she wanted to meet up. So what do I owe to these pleasures, Miss Carly Red? <laughs> I ain't the sharpest tool in the shed, but I think Carly called me over here for more than just business. For a minute, I started having inappropriate thoughts, and now I'm starting to think this might be a setup, and Tommy or Tierra is about to pop out any second. After I saw you at the Dollar Tribute, I was like, yo, I could really do some things with them, you know, because I have a record label. What's the name of it? Red Entertainment. OK. So I was just like, OK. Putting two and two together, I can make some money. We can see, make some things together. happen. Together? Yeah. What's that? Yeah. And yeah, we might need to put something together. I think that'll be a good idea. I'm working on this mixtape right now. Just shot three videos. The single is I'm a dog. That's I'm a dog. And that's what I'm like there. Are you a dog? I'm definitely not a dog. You sure? I'm positive. That's not what I heard. In order to cheat, you have to be in a committed relationship. That's number one. You're not. I'm not in a committed relationship. Speaking of things we done heard, what's your personal situation like right now? Ain't you got like a little you know, <laughs> R&B boyfriend? I am seeing Life Jennings 
Okay, now, sing or let's get these words together. I don't want to get nothing misunderstood. Oh, my gosh. I, I have not talked to life. I text him, I call him, I do everything, and he has not picked up for me. I'm not really sure where life and I stand at the moment. Life and I were really good. He made so many promises. And after the Playboy shoot, he just disappeared on me. Oh, well. You know, I have a radio show, and I would love for you to come down and let me interview you. What type of radio show is it? It's a radio show on Playboy. I like already. It's talking about, you know, your bedroom business. I'm listening. So, how do you like it? Fast, slow, standing up, outside, cars, whipped cream, anything sweet, I just... I'm sweet. I exude sugar. For real. I'm sweating. I'll come up on my jacket. Why don't you take it off? Let me help you. <laughs> what can I say? He's cute, he's sexy, he's talented. And obviously, he did not claim that scallywag Tommy. So why not have some fun? You got me hot with the little radio interview. Good thing I'm not shy. In no shape, form, or fashion. I see that. Everything in me to walk through this door and deal with this manipulative woman, Tierra. I don't even know how I'm gonna get through this, but I'm gonna do it for my son. How you doing? Hi. Good, good. Scrap told me that it's a certainty that he'll be locked up at the end of the month, which means I'll have to raise our son alone. I'm gonna need all the support I can get, even if it's from the devil herself. So for now, I'm putting all of my anger to the side to do what I have to do as a parent. Hi, KK. Hello. How you doing, Ma? Good. Thank you for coming. You know why we here? Why are we here, Scrap? We are here to really just make arrangements for your grandson. I just need us all, please get on one accord, act civilized, if not even for me, for King. I don't want it to be no hassle between the two of you all because of you all's differences. You don't have differences with me. You know, we can probably iron it out if you tell me. You hate me. Whoever hate me, I hate them. If you hate me, I'm sure you don't want me to keep your son, correct? So there it is. We don't even have to have this no, discussion. No, 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 no. Nobody asked you to hug, nobody asked you to kiss. We're simply here for our child. Before you let all this drama snowball like this, you should have thought about that. Now it's in a situation where you like, please make it come together. I've been waiting to life. I'm not trying to make so. nobody come together. I don't care if y'all kumbaya. All you I care is about king, king arrangements. If she hates me, I don't like her, and we can't come to a common ground, what if when it's time for me to pick up king and we fight? Why, why would she fight? your baby's father's mother. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. But I know what you're capable of. I'm glad you know. And, and you know what I do better. I don't and know. You what is back. wrong with you, right. bro? What's happening? Can't we all just get along? I just want Tierra and KK to come to a common ground for King King, and that's it. Can you act your f age for once? You talking to the wrong you know person. No, I'm talking right? to the right Yo, person. You acting like a kid. Person. You want to get results, saying. you need to talk to your mother. How you gonna get up and do? Come across the table. Come on across come the, on, the table. Listen, listen, no, hey, no, bring no, your no, punk no. ass bitch across the you table. You ain't no punk. Get your punk hey, ass up, bitch. KK, I will drag you across the table. Drag me. You a bitch. I will come to your door. I'm trying to keep it civil. But KK takes me to another place with her slick mouth and her disrespect. And that's the exact reason why she will not be seeing my son while Scrap is locked up. So let's see, in five years, King will be eight. That'll be a long, hard five year stint for Grandma, too. Come to my door, KK. Come I will. To my... I will. You want me? Come on, man. It's, it's, over, it's, over, it's over, man. I'm very disappointed on how the meeting went down. I don't think they really comprehended the severity of what I'm going through. At this point, I just think they both need to go their separate way. Hey, KK, you know. I'm at that sweetie. Okay. So, TC, let me ask you a question. You the I do, I do. Have you gotten great reviews? Excellent. Five stars on my end. I don't believe that. You got juicy lips. Maybe you're right. So, we're going to get out of here. This is another day in the life of the Messy Carly Red Show, Playboy Radio. We are doing it big. Eh. See you next time. I love having my own radio show, it's the best fit for me. I get to be messy. I get to flirt. Oh, yes, I get to flirt. And I get paid for it. It doesn't get any better than that. I'm gonna go get something to drink. You want something?
You good? Okay. but with this middle-aged thot named Carly Red standing right in front of me. Carly pretended to be my friend, and it turns out this bitch is a goddamn enemy. So yeah, Carly, I stalked your Instagram, and I heard you got a tape in the night. So I'm rolling up on this bitch. How you doing, bitch? Just chilling. Sure been chilling a lot lately. I don't believe a word that Scrap says about this receipt. I know it's more to the story, and I'm about to find out. So what's popping? What's popping right now is the receipt I found with your name on it in Scrap's car. Um, damn, I, I know I have receipts. I own a lot of receipts, so. And it had your name um, on it, meaning that you pay for a hotel room. What the f is the deal? Natasha Jailbird Jefferson rolls into my place of work quizzing me about a hotel receipt that she found in Scrap's car. What I really wanted to say was, yeah, bitch, I had your man, but I thought about it and I'm like, for what? Scrap don't claim this broke ass hoe. Okay. Yeah, being as though you've been in my face, you've been in Tiara's face, you've been l around. I was in your face, I was trying to tell you what was the deal, but you said you didn't want to hear me. You trying to let me know what was what deal, when? At the coffee shop, and I was trying to like give you a hint of what's going on, you said that I was Debbie Downer, so I was like, all right, cool. You're a 40 year old idiot. Honey, baby, please. You're a 40 year old idiot. Dennis Rodman looking at us, okay? What do you want to be? You are one away from a lifetime patient at a clinic. You're a one away. He don't with you. He never f***ed with you, and he not even claiming you. You trying to say Scrap doesn't claim me? How the f*** would you know what Scrap doesn't do unless you're riding his You want to own up to it or no? Nah? Bitch, be so active and get your sh together, okay? mother to your daughter. You're not even a f***ing example, you know what my daughter looks like. Bitch, now you a out of my place. Now you a Scrap, bitch. That old enough to be your daughter. It doesn't matter, baby, about Scrap about you, about any of that. I got Stevie on my and I'm going to the studio with him. You've never been in the studio with Stevie. You want to know why? Because you whack. you always been that. I want to be like Tommy. To be I'm a hoe. You do want to be, be like, like Tommy. Tommy. Cardi's out here calling me a hoe. The only hoe out here is you, bitch, and I'm about to expose that ass. I said he going to my and I'm going to mother make hit records with him. But that's Scrap's uncle. His name is Stevie But Jack. that's Scrap's uncle. Doesn't matter, bitch. He's my mother hosting a pool party today, and Dom said everybody's invited. After my meeting with Life yesterday, I'm not even in a party mood, and I keep playing that crazy ass stunt in my head. But I need my friends right now, so I came to see Dom, because this story, what I'm about to tell her, is about to blow her mind. I gotta tell you something. You know that you told me about Life? It's not true. Do you know for a fact he's not married? Is this something he okay. just told you? men lie. But what he did do is, he bust me out with a ring, honey. Girl. There was a time when I really thought that me and life would be perfect for each other. The truth is, life played me and used me. And then he has the audacity to blame me for us not working out. He said it was a promise ring. What's the promise? Girl, the promise. He promised me I would never find a man like him. So after he gave me the ring, he left, and we are not together right now. Y'all broke up? We broke up. And he let you keep the ring? He let me keep the ring. I was yeah, like, bye, bitch. Man. I can buy another heart. <laughs> if the ring real. Girl, we gonna find out. Yeah, we need to find out. We gonna talk about that later, but I need to keep it real with you. I was there when Tommy and Tiara got into it, when Tommy admitted she was smashing scrap. So I hope that Tiara can be more mature when I let her know what's really going on between me and scrap. I have something to tell you. I told life, the person I was like talking to or whatever was scrap. Cool, little scrappy? Your baby daddy. I'm sitting here having a nice, relaxing time at the pool, and Carly Red had the nerve to sit here and tell me that she's sleeping with my baby daddy? And I could tell by the look on Dom's face that she knew the entire time. You knew about this Dom? 
I don't know why Carly would choose this moment to confess her sins. But I didn't have anything to do with this, and it's not my business to tell. You had sent me this text, right? I am not taking my son to see him. I am dating someone new. So that was the green light for you to hop on his OK, yes, yeah, so what? I'm seeing Jay Nick. But what that got to do with having enough respect for your friend to not to smash my leftovers? Oh, but wait, we're talking about Carly Red, the bitch that will f anything that moves. My baby daddy makes me sick, too. Carly can have him. Carly and Tommy can fight over him. Before he went to jail, Carly, this you're like what we you me, like Let me tell you something. I was just trying to keep it 100 as a friend. I was hoping you wouldn't make a scene. But that's expecting too much from a hood rat. So come on, girl, let's go. You're that from I'm an entrepreneur. You're, like, you're still working at a nine to five. But well, guess what? I got more money than you, Carly. You live in an apartment. I built a house from the ground up. It's on the south side. Everywhere. Everywhere. It don't matter. No, 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 no. Give me my motherfucking drink, bitch. So I'm chilling upstairs like a queen, looking down at the raggedy bitches. And I'm like, bitch, is that Miss Don Penny? God damn it. And I looked at my husband, and I'm like, this is the type of ratchet bitches you invite to your pool party. You a d type of a sport. No, no please. It don't matter, bitch. Grab it, bitch. Come on, get it. They can't go whip your mother ass. Oh, sucking bitch. You can keep that purse. I'll get another Celine tonight. Go. I was floored when I got a call from KK. She said she had something to talk to me about. KK made it crystal clear where I stood with her last time we sat down and talked, but out of respect for Scrap, I went and met with her. I'm shocked to hear from you. Somebody got to be the bigger person. I'm dealing with a lot. When we went to court and the judge said 20 years, I thought I was going to die. And you know, I just felt like I had just made so many mistakes. The last time we met, all I can play in my mind is, bitch, I'm going to drag you, and I'm a this, and I'm a that. And me saying, OK, well, I know where you live. I thought I was going to puke because the hatred was deep. And I don't want my grandson to grow up thinking that his grandmother hates his mother. I just, I don't want to have no hate in my heart. And so, that's what it is. King's birthday is coming. He's going to be four. And I haven't had that one birthday with him. And it's important to me to spend his birthday. And it's important to scrap. In all these years, I've never known KK to be this sincere. This is a woman who brawls and makes threats. She is not a crier. So for me to sit here and see her so emotional, I know in my heart something has changed. And maybe there is hope for us. I want us to do that. You know, through everything, I already knew this. Regardless of what I say, I know you love King. And that's the first thing you do in the morning, and ask where is that. He asked about you. I can't lie. As much as I want to be <laughs> mad and say I'm going to take King away, he asked where my grandma. You probably hated me for a minute, but I knew you weren't going to hate me forever. <laughs> I knew you wanted to kill me for a minute, for real. <laughs> Yeah, well, I don't want to get you now. <laughs> I don't want to mob on nobody. I just no, want to mob on some letters to the, to the judge to get my son out of prison. He going to get out. Yeah. That 20 years is a lot. And this party, I was thinking, you know, if King could just think that his dad is still here at the party. But I knew that, you know, if we didn't come together, that it wasn't going to happen. I don't even know how to plan parties that good, but I know his grandma playing the best parties. <laughs> she gonna put together a ball, a extravaganza, and I know that makes you happy. Thank you. At the end of the day right now, it don't matter how I feel. I'm doing it for Scrap. I'm doing it for his son. And just hopefully, it'll go on like this till Scrap comes home. So this mean I can call you mom? No, I don't want you to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Tiara and I were never friends. In fact, I think she's a stuck-up bitch. But now that Scrap's in jail and KK and I are on the outs, I figure there might not be anything to fight over anymore. Tommy, how are you? Thanks for coming. Tiara reached out and said she wants to link up because she has something important to say. And you know what? I'm going to listen. That's grown right there. Tommy 2.0. So it's weird meeting me, considering how we left off. I didn't even make daddy because I in space like almost every other night. 
bitch. You run a gang between me and her? You said you're gonna stop with this bitch, right? Move, bitch! I'm daddy! I'm daddy, 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 bitch! So I thank you for even sitting down with me, because I feel like this is serious why I need to talk to you. You said some things I didn't like. We both said some we both life, says, but I think that it should never be women attacking each other. It should be we come together. Question. He was playing house the whole time. Like, he was over there, like... You know, Scrap is a family guy anyway. He wants a family bad because of the family he didn't have, how he grew up with his mother. Now, I don't know bashing nobody. Yeah. But I know how close you and KK was. Because you don't feel we bad. came from another part of life, but that is over. KK and I had a big public falling out. The last time I encountered her was on social media trying to talk me for about an hour. Bitch, you a fraud, okay? Everything about you fake. I'm not about to go to war with a senior citizen, so I just exed out of my life. I think a lot of KK's um, emotional state at this moment is because um, Scrap is due home any day now. Oh. You didn't know that? I haven't talked to Scrap in forever, but you would think the homie would give me a buzz and say like, yo, I'm coming home. So I'm sitting here trying to figure out like what kind of games is he ever playing right now? I don't think that ever got closure, the proper closure, you and him. The girl that got away, I love that role. So you and Scrap at all don't have nothing going on? Oh, cause y'all bet? Mm -hmm. Talking about being that. For the sake of our son, we've been talking about getting back together or at least living together as a family. And I need to know that Tommy and Scrap are really over and done with. Do you think if he came back home and I got back with him, he'll be like, let me see what's going back on with Tommy. He, he That's had to... you. That's all you, girl. You can have him, girl. OK, we're going to see. I am so over the ridiculousness of Stevie. After that whole ring fiasco, now I hear him and old girl are married, but good luck with that. I got my own situation going on. Hey, beautiful. How you doing? Wow, I love the way your nipples insinuate this. Come on. Yes, Nico and I are on again. My friends think he's trouble, but I'm having the time of my life. I'm having the best sex of my life. And I don't really care what anyone else thinks. OK, let me tell you what I like. I like the fact that I'm so comfortable with you that I've done things I've never done before. Well, I absolutely like when you turn up when, when I read that, come on, on a camera. Like, you, for some reason, bring that out of me. Yeah, I want to exploit that. Like, I'm in such another place, I don't even realize that that camera is on. So, Nico and I have been videotaping ourselves, making sex tapes. I've never felt comfortable enough to do this with any man. And to be honest, it feels quite good. Yeah, you know you're my best friend, right? For real. You're so sweet. No, I'm serious, though. I've never had anybody tell me that before. It's almost like it's time to turn out these lights. Should we dim the lights? <laughs> Let's keep them warm. You and your boo. How y'all doing? We're good. What boo? Nico, the same boo. I know Mimi did not just say she's back with Nico. The last time I talked to her, she told me she dumped this trash bag. Take me back, because last time we saw exactly. things weren't so good. So. Now things are back good. Things are good. Yeah. Is she knows a the like a relationship? That's, what that's, you that's know. the feeling I'm getting. I think there's a difference between being hypnotized mm -hmm. and having the best sex of your life. There's a difference. So let me ask you, ladies, have you ever made a sex tape? No. Right. Because it's, what if it gets into the wrong hands? What if y'all break up? Then it's like, voila. But why you ask that though? I made a tape. Is that good you want to document it? <laughs> like, he has one and you have one? Yes. No, no, no. I love Mimi, but sometimes she's not the brightest when it comes to men. You can't give these low budget <laughs> anything to hold against you. You're no. supposed to keep the tape, girl. So you trust him with this? Yes. Nico is not trustworthy. 
I wouldn't trust Nico with a spare key to my house, let alone a sex tape. Come on, son. I'm glad you're concerned and I get it, but. Y'all, yeah, I'm gonna do what I wanna do anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nico surprised me with a last minute invitation to dinner. I love that about him. And when he has a free minute, he wants to spend his time with me. And I'm not sitting at home wondering where he is and what he's doing. How you doing? I'm good. I'm really happy. Like, I trust you. I feel really safe with you. These past four years, got back with Stevie, I never felt safe. I never felt that comfort. I told Mimi I have something to tell her, but I think she got a different idea of what's to come. But to be honest with you, I invited her to dinner so she won't go ballistic on me in public. So you said you had to tell me something. What is it? I'm anxious. Well, what I'm about to tell you is, is, is disturbing. Remember when we was coming back from the Bahamas and my bags got stolen? What I didn't tell you is that my camera was in that bag. Okay, and what? And everything we done on that camera has been exposed. What does this mean? We exposed. It's media takeout. Media Takeout is the number one urban blog in the world. So everybody is seeing this. How come you didn't tell me the camera was in your bag that was stolen? I was trying to retrieve my bag so you I wouldn't find you out. Hey, like a month ago. Only thing we can do now is capitalize on the situation that's out there right now. Capitalize on this situation? Are you kidding me? All I want to do is go back in time and not trust this man with something so sacred and so private. I feel like a idiot right now. I got a crazy ass daughter's father that I got to deal with, not you, me. Stevie doesn't matter in this case. Stevie matters. No, he doesn't. Because he's my daughter's father right. and he will make my life a living hell. So I'm gonna have to deal with that. Camera struck the pose at high heels. Now you're six feet tall, and everybody knows who you are. And nobody cares if your heart is aching. Nobody cares if you want more. Shame is lies, won't kill me. Lies won't shame is lies. Come on in. Hi. Hello. Nico and Mimi. Steven. Hi, Nico. Nice to meet you. In no time, I went from making private videos with my man to having my naked ass all over the internet to now sitting in front of one of the biggest porn producers. Is this really my life? So, you guys know why we're here. We've acquired a sex tape of the two of you, mm -hmm. and uh, I want to talk about distributing it. Questions? How did you even get the tape? Look. There's been non-disclosure agreements signed, and I can't really get into the particulars of that. But I can tell you, if you work with us, you will be dealt with fairly, and you can potentially make a lot of money. If you don't, you run the risk of someone else putting it out. I have a three-year-old. I have a daughter. Like, how is this? I understand it's an issue, but many, many girls who have been in the industry have children. Our option here is to make money with you or for somebody else that brought this to you right. to benefit from it. Correct. That's our option. If we do a deal, you guys stand to make a lot of money. This could be a big deal. I want to do a big premiere party, and we will blow Wait. this thing up. Wait. Promote it like I agreed to do this promoting. Look, if you guys want to be in business with me, then let's make the most amount of money that we can. This is a choice for you two to make. I don't think I need to insert myself into that conversation. So I'm going to leave, and I'm going to give you guys a little bit of time. Thank you. All right? What the f One day I'm a mom, the next day I'm sitting out my sex tape? 
Am I supposed to be happy about this opportunity? Because I'm not. What do you feel we should do? My mental right now is how the did he even get to him in the first place? Right. Which means you have no knowledge of. You have no idea how he got this tape. I have no idea how he got None. I don't get up. But now that it's here and we have this meeting, what do we do? I don't know if what I want really matters at all. I want for none of this to have happened in the first place. But here I am, and I have to make one of the biggest decisions of my life. This is his offer to you. So if you want to take a look at it, here's a pen in case you need that. I will be outside in case you have any questions. Thank you. coming out. There is nothing I can do about that. I can, one, hope this thing goes away, which is not. Two, I can take back my control, try to find my dignity somewhere in this, make some money, and take care of my daughter. I mean, actually, there's only one decision here. Hey, girl. Hey, doll. How are you? I'm wonderful. How are you? Good. Davis. Hello. Mimi calls me and lets me know she's back in town from some trip to L.A., whatever. I'm just excited she's back, because I cannot wait to tell Mimi about what happened at Jocelyn and Stevie's party. So, what's up, ladies? You know we went to that party the other night. <laughs> Mimi, I blacked out. <laughs> what she mean you blacked out? I think I all my liquor hit me at one time. Mm. Oh, oh, I remember this. What July 29th. Wait, before the July 29th. I was like, oh, so you guys got married? Like, what day did you get married? You know, was it family there? Um, the end of July. I said, wait, you don't know the date? July 28th. July 29th. Yeah, July 29th. I said, do you have a marriage certificate? She was like, of course. Where is it? Because that's public record. They're lying. Anyway, what else? <laughs> Your gift was given to. Oh, yeah. She was like, oh, thank you. We got two. We got one more. I was like, oh, OK. She stormed out that party. I remember that. why she do that? Um, I think she it might have hit her why she left. when it was she like, oh, this from is from you. Mimi. She was happy before she knew it was from Mimi, and she got mad. Yeah, I think that whole poll thing was a very clever idea. So kudos to you. <laughs> yeah. What we really need to address is these naked pictures of Mimi and Nico. Girl, what was you thinking? What's going on with you? I saw the pictures. I was like, whoa. I'm mad because you didn't tell me. Tell you that they what? were out. They were sent to me, not by you. I didn't know they were out. These are my girls. And as much as I want to keep this deal a secret, the whole world is about to know. And I want to be the one to tell them first. We actually had a major billion dollar company contact us. Like, this is the company who put out Kim and Ray J. Pam and Tom Lee. Now Nico and Mimi. I've been telling her from the start that Nico's no good and now has turned Mimi into a porn star. So we actually flew to LA and met with them in person. Oh my God. Yeah. Why? Because they had a copy of the tape. You signed papers and it's gonna be released. It's done. Wow. Your daughter has to see this, Mimi. What about Eva? I can either let this tape run around for free or I can be a businesswoman about this and capitalize off of it and send my mother daughter to college. And guess what? That's what I'm going to do. Not only is Mimi a mother who's done a sex tape with her boyfriend, but now you consent into the release. Mimi is my girl and all, but I think she may have just made a deal with the devil. You know you're a porn star now. I had sex with my boyfriend and the tape got out, period. OK, so the person that stole. I don't know who stole it. Did nobody steal it? Nico is definitely a liar and a manipulator. And now she's seemingly blinded by everything but love. Like, when are you going to open your eyes, Olu? He ain't it. You really trust him, huh? I did. Trust him. did. Yeah, my trust is a little. Weary right I now. mean, I would expect it to be after a situation yeah, like this. If it weren't, you would be crazy. Telling my girls is something that I had to do, but the worst thing is this getting back to Stevie. So I need them to keep their mouths shut. Please don't say anything about this. I don't need Stevie to find out, you know, he's gonna make my life a living 
hell as far as Eva's concerned. Ugh. And he's gonna try to take her. He can't take because he got his own that he's got going on. And if he thinks that his situation is better than mine, when he lived with a known prostitute. Well, I just know he's about to give you hell. I know this. Okay. So the less people that know about this before the hits the fan, the better. So we need to swear. You're asking us for secrecy and all this Cool. So you have to make a pact to stay in touch and let us know. Don't say nothing. Y'all gonna just make my life more up. Please don't do that. Okay. You my girl. I care, so. Stevie called me to meet today, and I'm sure it's because he saw these pictures on the internet. This is the moment I've been dreading, but I knew it had to happen at some point. So, here we go. What's going on? Hello. How are you? I'm well, and you? I'm all right. I've seen better days. What about you? How you doing? Looking all right. You know what I'm saying? Real young, you're looking real fresh these days. Well, thank you. I heard congratulations is in order. You got married. I'm married, you know. What about you? How you and old boy? How y'all doing? We're good. I heard you got a new house. Eva says it's a castle. I had to do that, do the right thing at the castle for the princess, you know, make sure the queen good. I know Stevie's gonna come for me, but I'm determined to have just a little bit of fun with him before he goes for my jugular. Just to with him. Erica and Arian told me that your girl left the party. She left, like, yeah. abruptly. Um, she just stormed out. I don't Why? know. Does she like my gift I got you guys? Oh, uh, I don't think so. Why not? I don't know. I figured I'd send the poll since that's how you guys met. Yeah. Why not, you know, have something in remembrance of how you first met? You think this is cute? You want to be funny? Ain't nothing funny when it comes to my daughter. I'm about to lay down the law. I just been hearing a lot of things and I, I brought some things like up on my phone. How could these pictures get out right here? I'm not sure. You're I not really sure? don't know how they got out. That's you, right? Yeah, that would be me. And they look a little fuzzy, like it, like it might be from a tape or something. It's you on tape. You don't know how these go out. Bring it down, we're in a restaurant. Is this from a sex tape or something? I'm not ready to tell him that I signed a deal for this sex tape. I want to keep this to myself until I can figure out the best way to deal with the fallout. Stevie, you're no saint yourself. I can Google your name. Your kids can Google your name and your penis pops up yeah. on Google. I'm just trying to see if you're making all the right decisions. If my Why daughter needs you... to be around, you making irrational decisions. Irrational. Yeah, because you know that I got money, and I put all the money up for a lawyer to make sure my daughter's good. She doesn't live with you. She lives with she me. She can. But she doesn't. But she can. She doesn't. She, she can. Lives with me. Not quit. And how are you going to do that? Because you have to prove me unfit. It ain't hard right now. You serious? Don't do that, man. Are you Don't serious? Don't throw nothing else at me. Don't throw nothing else at me. Or what? I'm going to have my chick handle you. Oh, your chick. Your stupid ass bitch on the string. So you trust this guy? I don't trust you. Don't ask me about who the f I trust. Just know I didn't trust you. Mimi is crazy, but I didn't know that she was this crazy. It's clear to me that there's a tape, and I know that this clown Nico put her up to it. So he's the man that's jeopardizing my daughter's well-being. I got a problem with it, and best believe I'm gonna address it. Enough said. Thank you. You're welcome. One thing that this knockoff Stevie J is always worried about is working now with his sweet self. But you know what? This is my town, and I know where he at. So I'm going to roll up on him, and I'm going to settle something. Steven Jordan, what's, what's up, man? Wow, me. You know what I'm saying? You leaking pictures? What you doing over here? You leaking pictures at the net? Nah, I don't leak pictures, my, my baby friend. mother, that's what you're doing? That's my woman now, man. Yeah. Why you worried about me? I'm not worried about her. I'm worried about my daughter, not her. Are you serious? You being a hypocrite. Ain't you the same one talking about you and Johnson got a sex tape? You, you couldn't get your sex tape picked up? We got ours picked up. You mad? You got yours picked up? How much you, you get? How much you got? A couple dollars? A lot of paper, baby. You got some <laughs> new socks, I see. A lot of paper, baby. You got some new socks. I got a whole new everything. You sold, you, you sold, you sold your soul for a couple hundred bands, I heard. A hundred bands? Yeah. Y'all ready to loan you something? You can't loan me nothing. You ain't even got nothing. If I find that you leak those tapes, you, you have mad? a problem. So did you leak you them or what? You did you leak them? You mad, I'm with your woman. You shaking and I'm right insane. now. Why you shaking I'm right shaking. now? I'm shaking. I could get to you. Come on, stay. I'm right here. I could get right to you. I walk there, you walk here. Come All right, on. cool. 
What you gonna do? Bitch ass. He a whole ass dude. Hold on, let me go, let me go, let me go. Let me, let me smack this. Yeah, I see you. Listen, man, you don't I want none you. of this. I promise you. All that You're right. Missing. I don't want none of that. Let's do it right now. I want to do it right now. They ain't let me go. Hey, I want to do it right now. Tell me let you go. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, ho. Come on, ho. Let him go. I got you. I got you. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go. Let him go, man. Just let this go, man. Let's get one in. Let's get one. Hey, listen. You ain't gonna do nothing. I Shut like up. you, man. I Shut like up. You, but don't go there. Not with me. Nobody wanna see my baby mother. She fit. Why you worried about us having a sex thing? I'm not worried about right, you having so what's sex the problem? What's the problem? My daughter ain't got your nothing to do with you. Your daughter's a beautiful you. woman. You're right. Beautiful little You're girl. Right. You love your daughter. I ain't got no problem with her. Why you walking away? Last I heard, you was 1.3 in debt. And that's one kid. You got five. You don't even have no kids. You was broke about 17 months ago. But I'm not now. I'm rich. I'm rich, bitch. So that's why you talking I'm about I'm rich, <laughs> bitch. You a broke joke. She can't bring no drama. All you need to do is let go. Nico and I just celebrated our one year anniversary. Dawn has been working real hard putting this party together for us. This is the first time that I've been around so many people after the leak of this sex tape. I'm a little nervous, but I'm here to celebrate, so... That's what I'm gonna do. Good evening, everybody. We brought you here today to celebrate the most beautiful, sexiest couple, Mimi and Nico, tonight, celebrating their one-year anniversary. They're a power couple. They will be Atlanta's new adult entertainment couple. Mimi and Nico. There it is, our first introduction as Nico and Mimi, the adult entertainment couple. I was really hoping that tonight could just be about Mimi and Nico, but let the judgment begin. We are the couple who love together, get money together. Especially with this, you know, with the, with, the, with the tape leak that we had. We here now, and we taking it all the way to the top. The sexiest new couple, power couple in America. Nico is really hyping this sex tape. This is supposed to be our anniversary party. He seems more interested in this sex tape than he is in our relationship right now. We're putting the mic down. Ducky. All I can say is gonna be interesting. So look out. This tape is coming out in a couple of weeks, and I don't know if I'm ready, but I made a decision. It's done. I'm gonna have to put my boots on and keep marching. I haven't been to Mimi's house since she threw me out. She might throw me out again once she see what I brought her. I ain't even got no keys no more. I gotta ring the bell now. Hello. This is for you. Our tape is being released soon, so I brought a little sneak preview over for me and Mimi to watch. I think it's great stuff. I'm cool with it, but I'm not sure if Mimi's gonna see it the same way. I heard you went and saw Arian. My tolerance for Nico is running thin. I let him come over because I heard him and Arian had a run-in at the gym, and I wanted to know if Nico was gonna be honest about their conversation. She magically popped up in my gym where I was training, and, and she's come and asking me all these Ridiculous questions. She's telling me about the tape. Why did you do this? She brought the tape up to you. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So I told her she should watch the tape. She might learn something. I was in the middle of a training session. You know my whole thing is music, sex, fitness. So that's what I was doing. She interrupted my situation. So Mimi, I got the preview of the tape that we got to review before it goes out to marketing. Have you seen it? I've seen it five times. It's pretty dope. I like it. I think you're gonna like it too. I knew this day was coming. That doesn't mean I was ready for it. Honestly, I have no desire to watch this tape, but I know I need to watch to see myself before the world sees me. Why are you so uptight? What is wrong? What's wrong is that the world is about to see us in our most complete everything. 
right? That bothers me. I'm, I'm moving on the optimistic side. That's great. being pessimistic is not going to get us anywhere. We also made a decision to do this legally. I mean, we did this together. This is it's a tattoo you can't erase. Let's watch it. Can you come close so we can watch together? I don't want you to hook off on me, so I got to keep you close to me. I don't want you to snuff me or something. I feel like we're in the movies. Where's the popcorn? Yeah, As I'm watching myself, I'm feeling some type of way about the whole world watching this tape and calling me a porn star, and it's really with me. What are you thinking? I have no words. I'm happy about this. You're not happy about Clearly this? Clearly you're happy about it. You're not happy about what we've done? I understand you got a daughter, but I also understand you're a great mom. And you're going to know how to deal with that when that time comes. You got it all figured out, don't you? Nico may never understand how I feel because guess what? He doesn't have a child. This whole thing is a lot harder for me because I have a little girl that could seriously be affected by my actions. This is coming out. I'm going to have you step it away, whatever you need to talk to me about. So we in it together. I'm here in New York. I'm happy. I'm having the time of my life. Ain't no Stevie nowhere in the around. Of course, I went shopping. I did a bunch of things. I had to sit my ass down, watch this porn tape. Oh, right. Home girl. That's some real low down, dirty. I haven't seen Kay Michelle yet, but she hooked me up with a producer and a new studio that I could work when I come in New York. You know, Stevie think I can't do music without him. Ha. How you like me now? The Puerto Rican princess. Oh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Look at Give you! Let's go! Hey! hey my lover. You look beautiful! Woo! Trying to get like I, the Puerto Rican princess. I wish you would just sit up. I miss you so much. I you miss you too. I see this you. This is pretty. Thank you. You everywhere, bitch. You was like the only one, you know, out of Atlanta to call me and be like, congratulations with everything. I, I mean, remember like that. I'm following you on Instagram. I'm seeing your every move. No, but I've been like looking this, at you too. Like this bitch is getting it, but I'm so, I'm congratulations. so. Congratulations. Remember we talked about it and you got it done? <laughs> You're talking about the marriage, right? Yes. Girl, I love my husband. Living in a mansion. But he could be a piece of work. Girl, he be with the bull, girl. FaceTime, I seen pictures. Oh, and not to mention, I had, girl, it's so much that you don't know. You know, Benzino is about to get married, right? It's Probably getting married? Hell no. Girl, he about to get married to another ratchet host that I know for a fact my husband you're lying. Bitch, I wish I was f***ing lying. I cannot believe this wrinkle neck and got shot. He finna get married. Man, his bitch finna get her ass whooped. This whole Thea sat in my house. She accepted my food. She ate my And it's going around time that you and my He loved them grimy ass hoes. I mean, look at this porn star baby mama bitch. This is the slutty talk of the town. It's more problems. The Mimi situation. She moved down to... Little boy with the big ass. The one with the boyfriend. The one with the boyfriend. Yes, the bitch got a sex tape with him. Have you seen this tape? I heard about the tape, but I didn't think it was true. Her long titties is down to here. Granny boy. No, I, you, you know, you oh, know no, you can't no, exaggerate. No. This whole made okay, my, okay, 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 this whole made my life been living here for two, a year straight. Oh, but you know what she did to me. You know, I tried to tell her this is not the man. For her to turn on me and say, I'm not you, I'm not your friend, that hurt me. Watch this, You hope. don't got it on the big screen, bitch. Let's get prepared. Because you know she was claiming they lost the tape. The bitch didn't lose the tape. She sold the video. How was she gonna f him? That's her man, Why bitch. Why she didn't get somebody like Justin Bieber or somebody Justin more Bieber child that long titty. Her new name is Meat Mouth. Ooh, she didn't even get a wax. This is gross. Look, oh, and they kissed after that. Oh! Yeah. I told her about that man, but she did not want to listen to me. Oh, I was stuff. her friend out of all of that, and now, and look nobody. at what happened to her. You sold your soul to the devil. But that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm gonna let God deal with that hope. I need you to hear this song. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
angry then. I've been getting money. I've been getting money. I knew I couldn't watch this by myself. I waited. I can't believe it's actually out. Like, it's it's like it's for real. So Mimi's sex tape came out today, and I decided to go to Erica so we can watch it together. It's going to be really hard to watch this, but my friend is making national news. I really need to see how far Mimi's willing to go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I can't. Did you see this? This is not something they made. This is some professional, like, and this, this is in different areas. What the? This ain't no homemade Arian. I ain't, this your friend. Like, you, who you like this with? I am disgusted. It ain't even for Mimi, because you a grown-ass woman. You had a choice. It's for Eva, because she didn't have one. Now, this pisses me off. That's some up selfie right there. I'm telling you. Here. I don't care how I'm much sorry. money you get for this. You got a child, and that's because I got any money. It like this hurt my heart. I got a child, and like, it's a little girl that got to deal with this. A little girl. This her mama. I don't like don't like cry. this. No, I don't. Don't cry. I don't. You better talk to her before I do, because I'm hurt of feelings. That's up. You couldn't give me a million dollars to put some out like that. I don't care. Where's your integrity? Where are your morals? Where are your values as a woman and as a mother? Where? Where are they? A growing frenzy as people clamor to watch Mimi Faust and boyfriend Nico Smith go at it on tape. Mimi and Nico tape has already reportedly surpassed Kim Kardashian's sex tape in popularity. Love and Hip Hop Atlanta star Mimi Faust is apparently the latest pseudo celeb to be releasing a sex tape. And her partner in the adult video is her co star boyfriend Nico Smith. Department stores across the nation owe Mimi a big thanks. Since the release of her sex tape, sales for shower rods have increased. We were dying with your shower rod Instagram video. What, what inspired that? I do know Mimi and I thought it was hilarious. So I was just being funny. I was like, how the hell did that shower rod hold her up? Our tape has been released. We're hit. We are selling faster than Kim K and Ray J right now. Press releases through the roof. And right now we're about to sit down and do an exclusive interview with Vlad T. The money's about to roll in like a roller coaster. We're rolling? All right, let's get to it. i would literally been hiding out for the past 24 hours. All of the media attention around this tape release has been crazy. Everyone is talking about it. My phone has been ringing off the hook. All of the bloggers and all of the news entertainment outlets, they want to talk to us. And today is our first interview. I guess there's no turning back now. Mimi and Nico, what's the deal? Y'all are uh, really famous right now. Trending all over the world. Why did you two decide to film yourself having sex? This is something we do all the time. Oh, yeah? Yeah, we like it's those. Good. No one ever would expect that Mimi Faust would have been intertwined with a sex tape. Mimi had presented herself as wholesome, you know, a good girl. Mm -hmm. So everybody was shocked. I wasn't sleeping with a stranger or someone off the street. I was making love to my man. I watched the sex tape that was commercially released. And my first question was, who's the cameraman? There was no cameraman. We had a camera on a tripod. That's and how handheld. we did it. And handheld. I mean, it looked like the camera was kind of moving around a little bit. You know, I saw all y'all's hands <laughs> in the shot. <laughs> As you can see, 
The camera's moving around. Right here. It's not a, it's not a still shot. Okay. You see that? That's editing. You see that? That's what you call shaking the bathroom up. We shook the floor. You shook the floor? Hey. So there's no third person? No. Gotcha. So we were invited here. Yes. Have you talked to her? Well, I did talk to her, but not about. So y'all never okay. discussed anything? Talked about her dad. He had to get his leg amputated. Oh, no. So you didn't hear about the stroke? No. Her dad had a stroke. I, I haven't talked to Mimi since we were at the spa. I just know she's going to get overly defensive and come in here with this attitude. But I'm not here for all that. Like, I just, I really want you to, I want to let you know how I feel as your friend. Right. Like, this ain't no fly Hi, by ladies. the way kind of thing. What's up? Hi. Hey. I just left my dad in New York. He's doing better, thank God. But now I have some things I need to handle in my own life. I've been hearing that my girls feel some type of way about my sex tape. So I invited them all out to set the record straight and be done with this once and for all. I talked to Erica. I know how Erica feels, so I called y'all here to put this on the table right now and talk about it. When I initially saw it, I was like, this is not a sex tape. Because when I looked at it, I was like, this bitch look like a movie. But you saying it's something else, hey, we would hope that it is what you saying it is. So you know I lied to you? I did. Wow. It looked pretty movie-like. They cut it and slowed it down and speeded it up and added music. Yeah, once you put all that it's gonna look real fancy. Let me ask you this. When you guys were sitting down and talking, what was Nico's whole swag like? He is about his money, period. I, I, I'm not trying to, I want to question, like, I can't even eat. Nico, as a man, I know, I was about to say the same thing. Like, as a man, like, I don't want the world seeing my lady, so I'm going to try to do what I need to do to stop this. For her daughter. That too. For her daughter first. The bottom line is, am I going to cry about what I could have done, or am I gonna think about what is going on right now today and what I gotta do from right now moving forward? Nobody's here to jump on you, Mimi. No, like, no, no, no. I just, you're just so like this. If you my friend, I need you to be my friend. This is what you don't get. I understand this. Do you? Cause I've never judged you for Am I judging ever you now? Done. Am I judging you right now? Okay, don't get loud, y'all. But am I judging times, her now? No. Is this it me has judging? Been I just said. Times. Oh, you were porn star. I said that to you jokingly. jokingly. It That's was a joke. Mimi. It was a joke because I didn't think it was an actual porn. I made a decision, and I'm gonna live by my decision, no matter how you feel about it, you or you. Why are you crying, Arian? Mimi, we have gone through so much. It just sucks to hear you say, "Oh well, I don't need to be judged by you. You don't do this." Like, what? but you judge me in my no. relationships. Yes, you do. I'm not judging you in your but relationship. You do. I ask you personal things because, Mimi, it bothers me that you keep choosing the same kind of guy. Let me tell you the difference between me and you. I would keep my opinion to myself if I don't like whoever it is that you I have an opinion about something. You got something to say about him. I don't like him. I don't like him. Don't. So what? Okay, I know you don't. Fine. Look, that's you, don't, you don't like him? It's been declared. What's done is done. You got to handle the situation the best way you know how at this point. I did something that I can't take back, and I got to right. live with that. And guess what? I'm OK with that. If you can live with it, all the, the three of us damn sure won't live with it, and that's just what it and is. that's my thing. Everybody's like, are you OK? Like, I'm in a corner about to slip my wrist. No, I done been through worse than this. Arian needs to dry her tears and move on with her life. I can't spend any more time comforting her through this mess. It's my problem, not hers. What do you want me to do? Stop fighting me. I'm not fighting. We, we gonna go to sleep on this. I want to look you eye to eye, and I want to know everything that you told all of us about the tape as far as it getting leaked, and that's the reasoning for putting it out there, that is the God honest truth. Yes. Why would I lie about this That's all I needed to know. As long as I don't hear that Mimi was involved in some slick about putting this tape out for some money, I'm cool. Obviously, Mimi is adamant about her position, so I have to trust her. Everybody, everybody's going to have their opinion about this Oh, it looks like this and it looks like that. And I know what the f it is. So I don't know what else to say. I feel like I don't know who Mimi is anymore. I feel like she's lost herself. 
and she's acting irrationally towards the people that really care and love her. I just want to know that I can trust what you're saying is true. That's all. I just hope that you did not lie about it. It's been declared. I just it. leave it alone. I've been getting hit up left and right about something on media take on about you being married. Is there any truth? Yes, there is. But something that I've been, I was gonna take to my grave with me. Yes, I am married. When I saw the media takeout article, I thought this can't possibly be true. But never in my wildest dreams did I think he would just sit here calm and say, yeah, I'm married. I'm so exhausted that I can't even cuss you the out like I want to. Being honest with you, that's the love <laughs> I got for you. That is not a prize for me, I'm sorry. I went hard for this man, even when everyone was attacking him, discrediting him, and then he turns around and stabs me in the back? I feel like a fool. You didn't think at the time that you decided to be in a relationship with me that that is something that I should know? I wanted to tell you what I wanted to tell you. Which was never. Which was never. Never. <laughs> but I didn't lie to you. The question was never asked until now. You did at some point intend on getting a divorce. Absolutely. When? Not only is this idiot still married, but he can't even tell me when he's planning on getting a divorce. I'm just stunned and confused. I'm having a hard time even believing this conversation is really happening. What I decided to do hasn't affected us. I've been with you, I haven't been with her. I don't get it. Like, you want me to just, I don't know and what you want me to do. point. You don't get it. It's my whole point. So you leaving? Yes, I am. You haven't even finished your wine yet. I haven't finished it. We haven't finished talking. What else do you have to say to me? I want you to walk out of here with a different attitude. Let go. Just help me right now. I'm with I, you. I, it's me, you, and, you and, and your wife. I'm publicly with you. Oh, that's what we're doing. And You're digging friends. yourself a hole. I would stop right now. Can we do dinner later? <laughs> Why? Is this yeah. really happening right now? It is happening. Oh, we're done talking. All oh, right now. I may be grieving, but I'm clear enough to know that this entire year of my life has been a complete lie, and this man has disappointed me for the last time. Dealing. There's no point in me trying to keep Nico's marriage a secret. It's all over the internet. So I'm going to tell Arian and Erica everything before they get a chance to ask me. This is going to be hard for me because these two have hated Nico since the beginning. Okay, first things first. I don't want any I told you so's. I can't make promises like that, but go ahead. Arian. You okay. can just say you'll try. I'm but, trying. Okay. I'm going to just give it to you. Sorry. Okay. So my boyfriend is married. No. How long? Since 07. He's the greatest manipulator walking. I picked up on his bull the moment I first met him. All he's continuously done is proven himself to be the scumbag parasite that I've always thought he was. He says that he's with me and he wasn't going to say anything because he was going to get a divorce. And you believe that? I'm telling you what came out of his mouth. Okay. When did you find out? How? It was on social media. When you found out via social media? I confronted him. He was very nonchalant about it. Like it was nothing. Like, yeah. OK, I'm married, basically, so what? Get over it. Like, what's the big deal? As much as I blame Mimi for the choices she's made in her life, how was she supposed to know that her boyfriend was married? That's just crazy. Mimi has been going through issue on top of issue, and it really seems like Nico was the beginning of her downfall. I mean, so much stuff has been surfaced and leaked, I mean, and it all involves him. What bothers me the most about this is I was defending him. I defended him to you guys over and over and over again. I feel disrespected. I feel played. This tape, purposely done. Do you think he leaked the tape? Like, I don't want to believe that he would do that. What? 
Girl, believe it, because if he was married and he done strung you along like a little puppy this whole time, he leaks take. If Mimi is ever going to understand who she's dealing with, the time is right now. He's married, he leaked the tape, he used you, period. Mimi, what about the production of that tape, though? Because that was just not no tape. It wasn't a homemade tape. The, the initial tape was homemade. The initial tape? The initial Oh, wait, tape. you've had multiple tapes. Yes. Oh! Boom. And there it there is. There we go. For months, Mimi has been down our throats, adamantly saying she had nothing to do with this sex tape. And now there's a new story? The company said, we don't have enough footage because it has to be a certain amount of footage to sell. So you guys went back and did additional footage? Correct. So why we didn't get all this from the beginning? Because I didn't feel like I needed to divulge all that from the beginning. A lot. Mimi has been flat out lying to us since day one. Makes me wonder, what else have you been lying to us about? His wife, they're in cahoots behind all of this. They, they I'm sorry. I have, I have to agree with you. They they might. Might. This was a whole setup. It's this was a whole a setup. A plan. And what eats me up is you could have got any random asshole out here. It's so many thirsty hoes, but you got a mother. Which means he never cared about you or Eva. That not helping me. Period. Ain't nobody helping me but me. Okay. Okay. So we ain't gonna continue this. I made the decision I made, and that's what the it is. Period. My back was against the wall, and I had to make a choice. Got that. Do you? I have that. Let's be clear. It's okay. Because you got me up right now. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. Don't stop. Until you were in my shoes, you cannot say to me. Okay. Um, I'm ready to go. Okay, I had to know. <laughs> Arian and Erica know exactly what I've been through these past couple of weeks, and for them to sit here and just judge me some more, it's just too much for me, and I don't have to listen to it. I don't know what the hell is wrong with my drunk business partner, Stevie, but thank God I have other business opportunities to keep me busy. I'm here at my photo shoot for my new book, Yes, Mimi Faust is an Author. Yes, work, Mimi. Dawn is here to make sure things run smoothly. I figured since she kept me sane during the whole sex tape fiasco, it'd be kind of cool to keep her around. Stick those boobs out, mommy. Girl. Showing a little something, something. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Ah. You look great. I'm here celebrating my freedom from this lying, cheating ass mother and here he comes walking through the door. I haven't spoken to Nico in months, so for a minute, I'm speechless. You didn't think I'd find out about the photo session? I wasn't trying to hide anything from you. You didn't call me? I didn't, why do I have to call you because I have a photo shoot? You got amnesia, you forgot how this went down? So I got 25% of the book for what? You have 25% of what? Of the book. Mimi and I are done as a couple, but we got a business relationship together. This is my life, and I don't think that you deserve 25% of anything. I brought this book deal to the table, and in return, she signed 25% away to me. We got a three-book deal, Mimi, and I'm here to collect. You can't put out any book without me being involved. You need to read your contract. You want to take me to court, then that's what you need to do. I may have signed a contract when I wasn't in my right mind, but I can see perfectly clear now. Nico will never ever have the rights to my life story, ever. Why are you so pressed to get 25% of my thing? I orchestrated it. You were in the barbershop and found your writer. I Thank you so it. much. I Thank control. you so you much see the, for the, that. You know what this chair is? Thank you, Nico. This chair is called the director's that chair. That is a makeup chair, you right. idiot. I direct You didn't direct Do I wreck something in your own life? And stop right. trying to eat off me. Wait, wait, wait. I want you guys to work out things. There's nothing to work out. We're trying to get some money here. You mad because you, you want to with each other no more? Mad? I'm still Am cool I... with you. I ain't got no problem. I don't have no problem with you. I don't have a problem with you. I just right. don't with you and I don't want to do business with you. We do business. Have... No, we're not. We're tired. You're tattooed I'm on not me for attached. the rest of your life. I'm not we got tattooed. a sex tape. That? That's over with. Okay, I'm moving I, forward. Over. I am too. I don't have a plan yet, but best believe I'm going to find my way out of this shiesty deal with Nico. You, you can leave. You need, you need to talk you to her. Because you interrupt me up my vibe. Work. Go do a book with your wife. That's what you do. Thank you, boo. Out of here. Everybody, give it up for Sinana Waste Shape for what the way oh, got girl. I came to support my artist Jessica Diamond this fashion show, but clearly, wherever I go, drama follows. 
Nico just can't keep his thirsty ass away from me. And this time, he brings his wife for backup. You okay? Oh. Amazing. Call in yeah. Right, her name is mm-hmm. You're not really surprised. This is like you're saying. You can't possibly feel worse than I do. Man, we're very small, so we don't know who we can possibly show up. Let's have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Dimes Big Booty can't distract me from the freak show that is sitting across the runway from me. But I'm not gonna let these two spoil my night. But I do have to say, she's cuter than I thought she would be in a funny looking kind of way. Thank you everybody for coming. Everybody get up and enjoy yourself. Have a good time. Thank you guys for coming. I'm gonna take Mimi and go get a drink and take a picture. Go take some pictures. Yeah. I need to get my ass as far away from Nico and his thirst bucket wife as humanly possible. I don't want any parts of anything he has up his sleeve. I'm just gonna smile my little smile and sip on my drink. As far as I'm concerned, they're not even here. I think we should be the bigger people. Go over there and seduce ourselves. Keep moving. Okay, fine. See, this, this is a surprise to both of us. I consider myself classy and respectable. I definitely know how to conduct myself in an unpleasant situation, but this coincidental meetup is just a little bit too much for me. All I want to do is make my way to an exit, but I know Nico won't let it rest. Where the f you want to get a drink? You ready for this drink? Hello, ladies. Hi. Mimi, Arian, how are you? I want to introduce you to my wife, Margo. Hi, Mimi. Margo. Nice to meet you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Can't say it's so nice, but we meet. Yeah, it's mutual. I came here to see Jessica Dime walk in Prima Donna's show. I had no idea that Nico would be here with his wife. After two years of keeping her a secret, now he wants to bring her to an event as his date? This is ridiculous. You're claiming her now. No, no. Because for two years, he wasn't claiming you. We're not doing that's this. Not, that's not, not, don't tell me what that. I'm going to do. I'm going to tell you what no, you're going to do. You're going to get your finger. So here's the Mimi I've been hearing so much about. Already angry and so ready to fight. I guess she forgot that she's the one who cheated with my husband, <laughs> but it's all good. You're so emotional. I'm emotional, sweetie. Because yeah, because you did a sex you, tape with a man no, that you found out that was married. You I should do be that with your husband. Your friends don't know the truth about you. But you, you. do. You, you, you plan this. Me. You two plan this together. But you know me. And you're listening to this so I don't put the battery reason. in your back. No, he didn't put a battery in my back. Get your hand out of my face. Make me. The minute I saw Nico walk in with Margo, I knew that I should have grabbed Mimi and probably exited stage left because I knew that these two women could not coexist in the same building. Did she tell you that I mean, the both of them leaked this tape together? No, I'm no, not here defending no. him. She going? wants to run away because you're a coward. Be a woman. Own up to I, it. I'm Let's a go. Full woman. No, I'm Margo, stop woman. putting your hand in her face. This is all a big mess. Mimi was with a man that she didn't know was married for two years. And Margot found out her husband did a sex tape with another woman. Both of them should really be slapping the out of Nico instead of fighting each other. You with deserve your husband a for two years. He lied to me and he lied to you. He lied to me. Things is a little uncomfortable right now. I got these two women arguing about me like I'm not even standing here. But I know better to not get in between their situation. So it's best to let them get it off their chest. Nico does dumb but I know that he's not a slick ass to leak a sex tape he is. without you knowing he behind is. your back. You did it together. That's what he told you? Yeah, you did I it together. I think what you're mad about is you're not reaping you the benefits off the sex tape. I think you think a lot of things. Your husband lie is lying to you. This is not being resolved. You dragged his name and made it I look did. like he leaked a tape behind your that? back like you didn't know. I did that. You want to do I something, do it in order. But don't do it Why and then put the blame on somebody else because you're too much of a coward. You're a coward. Goodbye, bitch. You're stupid with a dumbass putting a battery in your back. You got the nerve to call me a coward? It's 
It's okay, baby. I screwed your husband for two years, took the sex tape money straight to the bank while you were chained somewhere in Nico's basement. Now you want to pin some shit on me because you're too afraid to believe that your husband is a complete scumbag lowlife that everybody knows he is? Who's the coward now, boo-boo? Arian, is it? Yes. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> this is the first time I'm ever meeting me. He's a clown. He knew she was going to be here. He didn't know. Him and Mimi masterminded this whole thing together. I'm just down he here. He told you this? Nico told me that Mimi's a mom, and he said that he had to take the hit for the both of them. You believe She's a that? mom? Why shouldn't I believe it? You think that he really just leaked a tape behind her back, and she had nothing to do with I it? I mean, I don't know. Honestly, I've had my doubts from the beginning. I've asked Mimi a thousand times, and she swears that she just made a tape with her boyfriend that got into the wrong hands. And then she decided to get on board for the money. They did it together. We can you don't know your friend. I trust that she's telling me the truth. And I and trust that like... Nico's telling me the truth. It was that she was upset with Stevie J and Jocelyn, and she was jealous. He's telling you one thing, she's telling me something. Bottom line is Mimi knows she doesn't have to lie to me. As her friend, I will love her no matter what bad decisions she makes. So I gotta believe that she's been telling me the truth, and Nico has been telling his wife what she needs to hear. Will it ever come out? It'll will come out if she out? tells the truth. So what if she tells the truth and it's still what she said. I just don't think that you guys know your friend like you think you do. Hey. What's going on? Who are you? What's up? I am tired of all the threats, the lies, the gossip about this sex tape. This has to stop once and for all. So I asked the father of my child to come over for a long overdue conversation. I should have had this conversation with you a while ago. I didn't because, honestly, you and I were not in a great place. Mm -hmm. And I wasn't truthful with you. Get to it. Man. The tape. Um, Nico and I did make the tape for our own personal viewing pleasure. He thought it would be a good idea to shop said tape. Mm. Keep going, Ma. As far as the whole leaking of the tape, yes, I helped him come up with that. As far as the whole bag and the tape getting stolen out of the bag, X, Y, and Z. Yeah, I'm listening. This whole idea was his plan from the start. Even down to let me be the bad guy, you play the victim. Now, I was an asshole and a fool for going along with this plan. So why did you go along with it? That's a good question. I don't have an answer. Mimi has hit me with a lot right now. It's hard for me to take it all in. She's lied to everybody for over a year, but how you gonna lie to me? I was just tired of living like that, keeping up that lie. Like, I couldn't sleep at night. I'm sitting here protecting this man who don't give a about me. You're grown. You can make whatever decisions you want to make. But we got a baby. We got, right. we got a daughter together. I got to make better decisions. I'm not going to continue wanna, to be I don't want to hear that. You know what that pity party. You not a pity party. You know what I want to hear? That you learned a lesson from this. I absolutely learned a lesson from this. You know what I want to hear? How are we going to fix this for our daughter? She going to have to deal with this one day. Right. She might even be mad at me because I was the cause of it all. You know what I'm saying? It's a trickle-down effect, and I'm wearing with my part of the whole charade. But I don't here. want you to think that I did this to get back at you. No, no, or I did this because we broke you did, up. You, you did, was... That was your dude. You know what I'm saying? I'm not mad at you. I'm not mad at you. This is really what I needed from you. Mm -hmm. And I really appreciate you not, um... I'm not about to beat you up about this or, you know, you're back. I've done worse things. Who am I to judge the decisions Mimi made when she thought she was in love with a fool like Frico? It's not the mistakes you make. It's what you do afterwards to clean it up that matter. You're beautiful. All the way, you're beautiful. I had no idea how Stevie was gonna react to the truth. That's why I waited so long to tell him. But in this instance, he has my back, and that gives me some hope that it's gonna be okay. I don't want any man having power over me. So to eliminate Nico exposing me, I'm gonna expose myself. And after all this time, I finally feel free. I just feel like I can breathe now. I told you, like, I was such a weight. I got you, I support you no matter what. Okay. I just hope everyone else is as understanding as Stevie. 
especially Arian. I don't feel good about lying to her, but I did what I felt I needed to do at the time. And if Stevie can understand and forgive without judgment, I'm hoping my friend can do the same. I didn't know what I was gonna get today, but I like had to tell you. Like I'm so just good. family over everything. Family over everything. <laughs> Check this out, y'all. Got a new crib, 18,000 square feet. You know, got me feeling real presidential. So I call it the White House. So many rooms I can't even count. But the real blessing is that I'm happy, and so is my Puerto Rican princess. What's up, Daddy? You ready for breakfast? You ready to feed me some? <laughs> That's right, this is my mansion. And just so everybody knows, me and Stevie split the bills 50-50. Hmm? I wore my ass up to get where I'm at today. Not bad for a girl from the streets of Puerto Rico. Don't use your teeth. I tell you to stop using your teeth. That's what men do, you know what I mean? Yeah, but when you find yourself without teeth... I feel being married now. It feels like we're still not even married because it feels... No, because it feels like we're still dating. Mm. Yes, we are married. I am Mrs. Jordan, and this bitch is officially out the market. How you feel ab about us being married, though? I'm not complaining. Look around. <laughs> You look happy, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got a new house. That's all good and dandy, but what's going on with my long, beautiful, white dress? I love being married to my husband, but let's be real. We just went to like a courthouse. It was in my dream wedding. Where's my dress? Where's my mamacitas with the flowers? I need you to put how much you love me by getting me a big long gown dress where I could just, you know, beautiful diamonds and long hair, don't care. How much you think that's gonna cost me? Well, I seen the dress for like 25,000. So you wanna do this big thing, elaborate thing? I deserve it. That's gonna take some time. I'm really not spoiled. I just want what every woman dreams of, and that's the big beautiful wedding. And Stevie already know, what the baddest bitch you want, the baddest bitch gets. I understand what you're saying. We're gonna, we gonna get to that. But before we get to that, I got another bridge we gotta cross. What's that? Our birthday's coming up. So why not have like post-marital birthday bash? Post-marital. <laughs> <laughs> For me and you. Birthday party, birthday party, birthday party. So it's the daddy. Our birthdays are just one day apart. You know, we sexy Scorpios. It was meant to be, and it was meant to be celebrated. Come here. <laughs> Damn. I'm a lucky guy. I know you're tired of them old tired throwback hoes, and you got you a young bad bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm. What a life. <laughs> this is Stevie and Jocelyn post-marital birthday party. It's a lot of liquor, a lot of love, and a lot of sex. Happy birthday, Daddy. Okay, hey, yo, let's have a toast to Jocelyn and Stevie's birthday tonight. Hey, know whether or not to believe whether these two are really married, but Mimi has her doubts, and Erica and I are here to find out if it's true. Y'all are really married. Yeah. We've been engaged for the second week. We met each other. Just nobody knew. So, two weeks? Yeah, we were talking about marriage like two weeks ago. Right! Yeah. That's what's f***ing with me, because it should have. my friend was coming to me with some bull****. Yeah, I understand what your friend went through, yeah. but guess what? I love my husband. We're married. That's what it is. Guess what? I'm his wife and maybe it's his baby mother. She's the past. So f you and your homegirl. When did y'all get married? We got married, what, July? The end of July? The end of July, you had a date? July 29th, yeah. We got married July 29th. Did this girl just have to think about the date that she got married? Who the hell forgets their wedding date just after a few months? I oh, got a marriage certificate? Okay. Yes, we got married. What you mean? We got married. Okay. I'm not gonna be lying about my own mother. I got time for all that. And I'm gonna get back to my husband now. Y'all ready to get back over there with Stevie and Come on. I really don't give a what these bitches is saying about Jocelyn Hernandez and my marriage, because for real bitches, y'all hoes don't pay my bills. I know you invited Erin, but before I knock that hoe out and her friend, tell that bitch to stay out your business. Checking me about our wedding day. Why is this bitch so concerned? 
questions that I want to know. Why is she so Don't concerned? Worry, Let's just have fun. And you better check the bitch. Because if you don't check her, I'm going to check her my goddamn right. self. Let's so the bitch don't be so concerned about my mother <laughs> wedding and my mother <laughs> heart. <laughs> Nobody's checking anybody. We had our post-marital birthday jam. We lovers, not fighters. I love you. I love you too. I know. <laughs> this is my party. I'm enjoying it with my husband. And I'm not really paying attention to what these hosts are saying. I'm just going to enjoy the night. But if it don't ever happen. Bitches bring me a gift from Stevie's baby mother, and they don't even bring a gift they sell. Stevie, you ready? Come on. Why are you leaving? Ma, hold on, Ma. Where you going? I don't know what's going on. Jocelyn loves stripper poles just as much as I do. I thought I was right here. So he went way up the street and around the corner. She bounced on me? Wow. <laughs> she bounced. Uh, she so left. You ready to go to Magic? You ride with me? Yeah, I mean, it's up. Well, she left me. Up. What am I supposed to do? Listen, you the night is young. Come on, man. She left me. She stole my car and bounced. It's still my birthday, so I'm headed to the strip club. Nothing gonna spoil this night for me. We're going to Magic. You know what I'm saying? Turn we about up. to turn up. That's it. Turn up. You know what I'm saying? Turn up. That's it. I got this strange request to meet up with Jocelyn's booking agent, Dawn. I don't really know this chick, so I'm wondering what she wants to talk to me about. I've been booking Jocelyn Hernandez for three years. I was more than a booking agency. I was a friend, I was a manager, but all of a sudden, Jocelyn stopped calling. I don't even know why, but the word on the street is, I'm fired. I know all of Jocelyn and Stevie's business, and I'm sure if anybody's interested in a downfall of Stevie J and Jocelyn, it would be Mimi. I just know you probably feel like, I want with you. Yes. I wanted to come to you and let you understand that I don't work with Jocelyn and Stevie anymore at all. They are just unloyal people that have no loyalty towards anybody. I have so much knowledge about them, you would think that they would just be like, we don't have anything negative to do with Donna or say about her. But in their mind, they never think people will stoop to their level. And I feel like stooping to their level. Just like dumbass Stevie to piss somebody off that knows all his dirt. But guess what? I'm always ready to listen. Everything is fake. Their whole life, I get a text. Stevie is flaking. What do you mean, he's a fraud? Yes. He's contacted Benzino. He didn't let Benzino know that we were really not married and that he wanted him to put it on the front of a magazine. So he actually put this big thing out. We married. Really? Is this what you really want people to believe? Girl. With no marriage certificate? And there it is. I've been saying since the beginning this marriage was a fraud, and now there's proof. Even the ring, her previous boyfriend, Keith gave her that. Not Stevie. Oh, the day that the whole thing went on Twitter, he yes. texts me maybe an hour before he did it and says, I need to talk to you about the next stunt I'm about to pull. Stevie has lied to everyone about everything. He's now used his friend Benzino to perpetrate this lie. Now the question is, what am I gonna do with all this information? It's just like a deck of cards that they, it's gonna come crashing down. Oh yes, girl. <laughs> I got some unfinished business to handle with Dawn. Unlike my wife, I like to get straight to the point so there's no confusion. Dawn, you are fired! Oh, 
What's up, baby? What up? Ain't nothing yeah. doing none of that. We ain't flaking, you know. Oh, yeah, I heard about Stevie J coming to try to straighten me about something and dealing with Jocelyn. Evidently, she didn't have the balls to come fire me. Really? You can't fire me. I got a folder full of documents that's proving that Stevie J and his wife are nothing but a bunch of broke-ass frauds. I just think he's probably mad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He was getting, he was getting like some money. Man. Yeah, he was getting some money I booking. I was yeah. for the place where your bitch was living at. That's, That's cool, I heard that. Before yeah. she moved to your rental. She was paying yeah. for it. But yeah. she ain't had a credit for that. She got four closets. Your bitch motherfucking four closets or yeah. what? Four Forever closets. 21? Four closets. Motherfucking nah. Zara? Nah. Get the fuck out. Nice. charge on my motherfucking but Marcus no card. Stop fraud. Jocelyn couldn't even get her own place because she was evicted and had bad credit. I signed my name on the dotted line. Booking agents don't do that. That's what real friends do. You riding around town in the rental Bentley. What am I heard it's about? It's still mine. It don't matter. It ain't yours. In the bench, too. It ain't yours. In and and another rental bench, too. It's a rental. And then with your house, you rent a house. Yeah. Let me give you the real yeah. people that own it. Yeah. These the real people that own your house. I know who own my yeah. house. It's not you. Man, this chick has hit me with everything under the sun. But you know me, cool as a fan. I ain't sweating it. But she definitely messing with the wrong one. Yeah, Since you want to throw pop shots so, at me and my wife. Say, me too. Yeah, me too. When y'all was married? July you 29. Wanna, you want to see yeah. the text message she yeah. texted me for that? Let me, let me that. show you that. Yeah, show Tell me. Tell the type of bitch you dealing with. Yeah, let me see the text message. I'll show it yeah. to her. You I'm fake married. Kidding. This text basically stated that Jocelyn knew Stevie put up a fake magazine article in Hip Hop Weekly saying that they married. The Zeno put it in mother Hip Hop Weekly. The Zeno mother you no, that's my shit. That's my magazine. Yeah, that ain't yours. I'm part owner no, 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 of the magazine. No, 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 no. I, I didn't know that part. Yeah, you need to worry about being a producer. Because the last time you had a hit was when Ronald Reagan was in yeah. motherfucking But he's not so in office. Mother exactly. We wait. The world is waiting. You, you get For one. another motherfucking hit. You could never find me. I put the money in y'all account. That's right. I get mine off the motherfucking top. That's right. I'm making it rain bank receipts and deposits on that ass. See, I know everything. I know where the money is, and I know what's not. Next time you come at me, come yeah. right. Yeah. This non-factor flea is just tossing around any accusation she could think of. I think it's actually funny, because she can't slow down the Jordans. It's cold outside. Whatever. So I get this message from Dawn. She says she wants to meet up and talk some business. Oh, what's up, Dawn? What's going on? Nice seeing you. What's going on? Now, I know she's not working with Sleezo and Joss anymore, but that's OK, because Dawn's always been on the up and up with me. So I figure I'd make some time for my girl. Amy, wow. When did y'all start hanging together? This, how y'all doing? It took a minute for me to figure out what I wanted to do with all the bombs Dawn dropped on me. And then I decided I wanted to go to Hip Hop Weekly and have them print a retraction. Let's just get to the point. This is a lie. Well, how do you know it's a lie? Why would he say they're married and they're not married? Just to get a- He's just, to get just a liar. He's not gonna lie to me. So I've been knowing Sleezo forever. I mean, he's my brother, and now he's my business partner. And I know sometimes he really hasn't been keeping it honest with his chicks. He has a problem with that. But I would hope to believe that he doesn't have a problem with keeping it honest with the z -ster. This is a message from your boy. Good morning. Yeah. I'll bump into you at 2 p.m. If that works for you, got to talk to you about this stunt I'm about to pull. Stunt I'm about to pull. An hour later, breaking news, CBJ and Jocelyn are married. <laughs> I don't see let me, it. Let me, let me show you something else, Mazzino. You know. This is a text message. Hello, L bitch. I did not see Stevie. Told them people we got married. I heard him. I was like, you know what? I can't take his games. If he try me ever again, I'm going to show him. I swear. This is from who? Jocelyn Hernandez. That that's not y'all's proof. I know that ain't the proof no. that he's not married. That. The proof is in public records. You know, everything is computerized these days. You know, well, if they were married, there would be a marriage certificate, which there is not. Right. Well, why would they wear rings? The thing is, she I walks don't... around and parades around with a ring that she got from a previous relationship, so. I know, but it... Listen, I understand that's your man. Why would he even allow you to publish something that is false? Right. Right. Now, I know Sleezo ain't gonna put me in a position where I have to defend myself against them for Hip Hop Weekly, but you can best believe Z gonna find out. I think the public is owed an apology. Everybody needs to know that issue was printed under false, under false pretenses. Period. It's because not if true. not, that devalues you and your company. 
I'm trying to give my bro Sleezo the benefit of the doubt, but some of these accusations are serious. I think I'm gonna have to find out myself, yo. I also caught wind of you guys doing a spread of Jocelyn in an upcoming issue of Hip Hop Weekly. It, it, it blows my mind. Like, it's all a lie. Can, can I have a little bit of time? Okay. Absolutely. Really? What does Jocelyn's photo spread even have to do with Mimi? I can't even entertain that. I got enough things to worry about thanks to these two bird brains. If you don't take care of that, somebody else will. You know, Media Takeout loves me right now, right? Do that, Benzino. I gotta believe that Benzino will do the right thing for the reputation of his magazine and for himself. And by the right thing, I mean exposing Stevie J and Jocelyn for the frauds that they are. Can I get another shot of Grand Marnier? Yo, Z, I appreciate you taking the time out, you know, oh, to have me, Jocelyn, come in here. She's working, she's working real hard at this. Look, at she, she wants don't. to show you her don't. pictures. You're looking and, beautiful, too. Yeah. Now nah, you've been doing your thing. You know what, my husband is so sexy to me when he's handling business. I can't wait to sit down with Mencino and just give him my, all my ideas and just finally get this big spread on Hip Hop Weekly. I'm just excited. That's the cover right that's there. It. I mean, that's I the biggest that was, seller right there. Well, I thought that was one of our biggest sellers. Yeah, one of them. You know, they want to follow, they wanna follow us. I'm kind of excited that Sleeves and Jocelyn are happy, but I'm about to slap that happy right out their face once I tell them about my meeting with Mimi and Dawn. I just want to bring up something. Okay. Right. No problem. All right. Dawn called me, had a little meeting with somebody about... Well, Dawn? Just, 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 just Dawn just, by herself? No. Uh, that's what was crazy. It was like... It was her Mimi. Rose and Blanche from the Golden Girls? All right. Just, you know, hold on. Just give me a minute. Talk. Let me explain what happened. When they came in, they brought the cover, they threw it down, and they said, we know that they're not married. Now, what I said wow. was, no, hold it. Of course, you know, come on. I'm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm sticking up. Absolutely. You, if there's no question. Absolutely. I'm, I'm like, well, listen, Slee said they're married, so we did the cover based on that. Well, I know they're not married, they need to prove it. And I'm like, listen, we I'm all good. good. So now Dawn has got Mimi caught up in all this nonsense. They spreading lies about me and my wife. Yo, that's not a good look. Both of these old broads, these old hags need to go to the bingo hall and sit down somewhere, because I ain't got time for their lies or the accusations. Don and Mimi ain't never been well, friends their whole they, life. They brought, and, and now all of a sudden it's messages says, and all kinds of oh God. And they're like, we're, we're gonna like, bring this to the blogs. And I'm like, whether they married, or if they're we not, are if they are. Oh, I said that. You oh, must you must like what they bring into it. Because they're must, talking about going at Hip Hop Weekly we and the credibility of the Hip Hop Weekly is here to stay, baby. My man, my business partner, is sitting here with his wife, and they're just as surprised as I am. So, yo, as far as I'm concerned, if Slee says he's married, he's married. Just know that these people are gonna always be on y'all's asses to prove the marriage. Listen. They owe and they tie, and they ain't got else to do but worry about my marriage, worry about what the I got going on. We're gonna live this where it's at, and I'm ready to go. I don't give a damn about these tired ass bitches and their lives. Mimi the porn star need to go worry about her porn tape. And Don, you need to worry about going to find you another job. Because right now you have no job. Right now, you're broke. You, you bring them hoes up to me one more time, and you and I are gonna have a pop. It's all good. You have a great day. All right. That's what you call a fing ass. <laughs> Now, I know I'm crazy sometimes, but everybody wants to know if Sleaze and Johnson are really married. So I set up a meeting with Sleazo, Mimi, and Dawn. I'm getting everybody in one room, and we gonna dead all these accusations. Crazy, yo. Sleaze. What's up with it, bro? Oh, man. Crazy, man. I agreed to meet with Mimi and Dawn because of my man Zeno. I ain't got nothing to prove, but now that I'm a partner in the Hip Hop Weekly, when they come for the magazine, they coming for me. And I'm about to shut their inspector gadget asses down. Look, just between me and you, you and Jocelyn are married, right? Yes, absolutely. Right. Say no more. What the, what I wouldn't have brought it to you if it wasn't. No, like, just say no more. That's I, what I, I, would, I, I, would, that's I would have, what I told I would have put uh, our magazine on the line. That's what I told him. I, I, I told him friendship. I brought the blood on I know the line. that. I'm not putting no retraction. Okay. You and Jocelyn are married. Absolutely. And that's, and that. that's that. They have nothing. It's time for Benzino to be true to his word. I'm expecting that retraction. And I want to look Stevie right in his eye while he dances around the truth. I appreciate y'all coming. I think the whole premise of this meeting as far as, as adults, come to some type of conclusion that'll make everybody happy. I just want to get to the point. The point was they don't believe the credibility 
of you and Jocelyn's marriage. It's a fraud. What date did he get married? You? I don't have nothing to prove to you. And that issue came out when? I don't remember. I think it was August 1st. August 1st, which was the same day that he sent me the text message about the stunt he wanted to pull. I didn't see that. Oh, you didn't? No. Yeah, well, that, I mean, you know. What? That. Ms. Enoff, you have a household name to protect. And friendship? I am a household I, name. I doubt it. And it's part of my magazine. I doubt it. Can we please, honestly? I'm wondering why this is so important to Mimi. If I ain't know no better, I think she was still feeling the guy. What's the matter, baby? You mad I married Jocelyn instead of you? So what are we here for? You and your fake marriage. Clearly, I have no feelings for Stevie J. All I want is for both of them to be exposed for the frauds that they are. Hey, that's what you feel? That's you. Well, where's the certificate? They want to see the license? You want to see the license? First of all, Benzino, any state okay. has public records. That's through government. It's not through... Well, he has, he, he you must have You have to be something. married through the government. I'm sovereign. Huh? Sovereign. <laughs> sovereign? I'm a sovereign individual. Which means what? You don't have to go through what everyone else goes through? Yeah. I don't need anything from these ladies. I'm good. I'm my own government. I make my own laws. And Stevie J, we trust. Sleeve says he's married. Y'all say he not. So we reached that point. What else can we do? So we're just not gonna think about retracting the... If we lose readers behind the... Well, then, you know what I'm saying? Then that's the business. So you want to go around printing fake? What? He says he's married. What the did I say? He says a whole lot of that's bull. It's time to put a seal on this nonsense right here. I'm the truth. A1, the man. I'm going to ask you one more question. When did you get married? July 29th. June 29th. June or July? June. Who doesn't know their own wedding date? June 29th, July 29th, February 29th. That's all I need to know, that this marriage is a complete fraud. I think we need to leave. This yeah, is really not good for your health. Oh, yeah. gosh. Bye, okay. ladies. Thanks for the drink. <laughs> oh, God. Cheers to you. Me and the wifey's plans on a big wedding celebration have been on the back burner far too long. And with all the speculation in the street about us not being married, it's time to shut up all the haters. So what's going on? Can we talk about the wedding? We should definitely talk about the wedding. All right, um, I know we want this big, elaborate wedding. Is that what we want? This is what I want. We already married. We need to be talking about, is we gonna stay married? We gonna get a divorce? I haven't seen this all day. And you wanna talk to me about a wedding? Check yourself. Let's talk about a divorce. After I see all of these nasty pictures, naked pictures on your phone, let's talk about that. Open your phone up. What you want to see? Open it up. Let me, let me get the phone. Let me get the phone. See, it's that. All business. We have seen a lot of things in your phone, and I feel as you being a married man, I should have been seeing it. And like what? I ain't got nothing in my phone. I seen a whole bunch of pictures of titties, asses, so how could I be talking about another wedding when the wedding that I have now, I really don't even want it, like straight up. What are we doing? Jocelyn could take that ring off all day if that's how she feels, but mine isn't going anywhere and she ain't going to wave. I love you, Stevie, but I can't with you and your lying ways. I took my ring off because he pissed me the off. You know, I have to do something to show him, like if that's what you want to do, this is what I'm going to do, and fuck you. You married to the baddest bitch that you can even think of having, and you still FaceTime me and talking to hoes. You're so jealous. That's your problem. No, 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 no. You know what's your, your problem? Your jealousy is no, going to no, have you lose no, me. No, no. I ain't never had you. Because if I Once had you, lose me, your you life be, is over. Call it whatever the fuck you want. My life is just starting. I'm 27 years old. I'm a bad mother bitch, and I get money. I did that for you. No, you I didn't did do that this. For you. This been done. Steven, to me, you're a cheater. And trust me, Steven Jordan, Jocelyn Hernandez just didn't just sit around. I'm gonna play the same game he plays. That's what I'm gonna do. So Listen. you keep this, right? No, you keep you it, because I can't it. even pawn it. Uh, I think I'm gonna look for my own spot. You should do that. I'm done. Your career's on hold. Oh, whatever. Cry, baby. Soak your mama Cry, baby, cry, baby. I've been working on my baby Poise Cosmetics for a while now, and today is my first Poise Pop and Launch. I'm hoping that this event will be another successful venture for the Frost Empire. And by the look of the line outside, baby, we are off to an amazing start. Everybody say Poise on three. One, two, three. Poise! Yay! Thank you, ladies. Hey, boys! Oh, I'm glad I made it. I'm so glad to be here. Look at you. I'm trying. 
expecting for the line to be like down the street both ways. Like, this is crazy. I'm so, so, so proud of you. I'm proud of all of us. Me too. We entrepreneurs now. That's what everything is about, though. All of us trying to accomplish our dreams. You know? We have. With all that being said, y'all go enjoy yourself. There's lipstick and jewelry and all kind of great things back there. And I'm going to get back to work. This event is all about business. I'm trying to market my brand here, and I don't have any time for drama. So even the guest list is strategic. Can't invite Jock because him and Carly got all they bull going on. Didn't invite Althea because I didn't want no drama to go down between her and Erica and Carly. Damn show sure ain't invite Stevie and Jocelyn because they got some type of media frenzy craziness going on. Zeno's caught up in the middle of it, trying to figure out who's smashing damn who, and he ain't taking no prisoners. So I'm gonna make this very, very clear. Today is a drama-free zone. Fly. What up, Fly? Talk for a minute, yeah. it's cool. I'm talking for a minute. Fly Dan Tony is the same guy that went to Puerto Rico with Sleezo in the so-called Puerto Rican Princess. He's their producer, very talented, and he was pretty close to them. But from what I'm hearing, it really didn't work out with Stevie and Joss because they didn't want to pay Fly Dan Tony. What up, baby? How you got my name in the media, dog? Like, I got nothing to do with that girl, bro. Ooh, with Jocelyn. Fly Dan Tony's one of the names I dropped on Instagram about fooling around with the so-called Puerto Rican Princess. I really don't know his involvement with her, but I do know he has some real juicy dirt for me. And right about now, I think I need that juice. Girl, I did you know, nothing with that girl. I could have. You know what Stevie's going through, right? Come on, like, how come you ain't around no more? Because of that. I mean, we all know that. I don't rock with him because of her. Because huh? I couldn't deal with it no more. Deal with what? Wanting to smash and wanting to do all that extra stuff. Her wanting to smash you. Yeah. And then she flipped it on me with him and said, yo, he want to do something to me. So then Stevie stopped rocking with me like that. And I was like, my it's not that serious. I'm a boss. The streets been buzzing about Jocelyn's slorish ways lately. So I just think it's time for Sleazy to really understand that this girl is really detrimental. And it's time for her to take her slorish ways back where she came from, the strip club. Every time there's a problem, it's her. The reason you ain't around him no more, it's her. The reason me and him keep going through it, it's her. She wouldn't even be the baddest boost if it wasn't for Clyde D'Antoni, baby. So that you know what type of woman she is. I know enough to stay clear. I can't say that for everyone at this party, because I know at least one dude in here that has smashed her. Somebody in here smashed her. Somebody in here. And it's not me. While she was with Steven? Recently. No. I'd rather you hear from the horse's mouth. I mean, do I know him? Yeah. I know him. Yeah. I go get my man. I'll go outside, just bring him outside. Wait for me at the door. I'll grab a cigar. All right. I saw these grown ass men really standing around at an event discussing who may or may not smash Jocelyn, and they're not even paying attention to who's listening to their conversation. But that's a good thing, because you know I'm going to have to tell Jocelyn that she's the hot topic. Boy, oh boy. Hot out here, boy. It's hot in there. <laughs> so me and Fly Dan Tony head out to the alleyway from the party, and he has Big Rich with him. Rich is Lee's and Jocelyn's driver. So I'm like, what the hell is going on here? I know you know Rich. Yeah, I know Rich. Yeah. Well, Rich is the guy I was telling you about that had sex with Jocelyn. D. Rich? Rich. 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 Yeah, I'm Jocelyn's driver, but... Come on, Rich. Rich. Jocelyn is the reason everything goes haywire. Like, me and Sleaze done been through all kinds of together. The worst shit that we've ever went through is over her. The reason why he's not in the studio making great music is her. Look, Rich, a man's gonna be a man. That's you gotta it be is. honest, Rich. You can be honest and with you know him. What the same way we, we talked about it, bro, you can sit there and tell him the same thing, man. Rich, ain't you heard the truth will set you free, Rich? No, no, no. Well, the no. truth will set Sleazo free, Rich. For real. Come on, Rich. I smash, shorty. Holy. Thank you. Let me say this though. Wait a minute, let me just... I'm, I'm not the only one. process that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm not the only one. You're not the only one. Pineapple. What do you mean you're not the only one? I mean, I'm the driver. I'll take her anywhere she needs to go. Different what cribs, I mean? mansions. Mansions? I took her, yeah. I don't know who she met, but she'll meet Hotels? Other, hotels, four or five in the morning. She gotta be home before Sleeves wakes up. There's one person that sees everything and knows everything is the driver. Dun, dun, dun. My thing was, I might as well, you know what I'm saying? Give me a little PC. How, how long you been smashed? Off and on, three months. Three months? This is Off no connection? On, nah. I damn near in a relationship. I gotta tell Stevie. I gotta tell Stevie. There's no way I'm gonna keep this from Sleezo. I understand how much he loves her, but disrespect should not be tolerated. And she's definitely disrespecting my man. This mother 
trash bag. Stevie think he's gonna come outside and come talk to me and surprise me, but I got a surprise for his ass because I know everything that's going on. And I'm glad that Carly Red told me what she told me, whether it's truth or not. I'm gonna figure that out. And I know that Bacino's been around town saying that I slept with these two fools, the driver, and bone broke down, then Tony. And I know Steve is gonna come back at me and try to say something to me, because I know that old tired grandpapa went to go tell him. Stevie, you listening to Bencino? Guess what, Stevie? Trying to tell me some bull I'ma let you know what I already know. Surprise. Try to spend a little long time bathing in the sun. You know, a girl need her a long time every now and then, cause so many things that a girl go through. Like what? I, I just. What's the problem? Every time you get around Benzino, it's a problem. He gets in your ear, jostling you, this person, you that person. When you know it's not true. Why are we talking about Benzino when you know I came why? out here to talk you know to why? you? Because all problems come from your bestie. I've been really trying to decide whether or not to tell Jocelyn about some of the lies that were tossed around. And I intended to tell Jocelyn that I smashed the homie, but I couldn't even get it out because she was going in on me. Every time you go kick it with him, you come back home with beef. It's like y'all sit around and talk about me. Why? Benzino hates the both of us. First of all, why are you so focused in breaking Stevie's and Jocelyn's relationship? The relationship that Stevie and I have, he wants to have that with Athea. And Stevie Athea, and he knows it and he's still about to marry the bitch. I wouldn't like Stevie either. He talks about me all day, every day. When we, when I know you this bitch, what's the beef? We got past that. I'm not tripping on that. You a lot of hoes and you still gonna him. I haven't been in a lot it of hoes. It doesn't even matter. Well, hold on, hold on. It... Word around the town is you Exactly. Guess where that come from? Benzino. Well, I'm just saying. It comes, the... from, it comes from your homie. It doesn't really matter where the info come from. What really matters, if it's true or not. And that's what I'm trying to talk to Jocelyn about. I'm not trying to talk about Benzino. You gonna do what you gonna do, and I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do. You gonna run around town? See, your homie, your bestie, he gonna drive you crazy. If you gonna claim I slept with somebody, I'm not gonna do it with a minimum wage driver. Bring me a CEO of a billion dollar company. If Stevie believe that, he's an idiot too. I'm not gonna disrespect you. I'm not disrespecting you. Be oh no, you are. But it's cool because you always do, and you done from day one, and that's why I'm not. I going made for you. Anything. Why would I play you? Your mindset was stripping in the club. Let me show you how to get money that in a real matter. way that where you don't have to hurt your body, you don't have to hurt your mind, you don't have to hurt your soul. You hurt my soul. And you want to sit up here like you're such a player, you hurt my soul. And you hurt my mind hurt every mind. day. Yes, you I, do. I hurt you your mind by every putting, day. You, putting you where you no, never no, no, been. No, no. It doesn't I matter. Did that? You mentally push my mind and drain me. And you I'm sick. mentally. Yes, you are. You mentally do it on purpose because you know why you're I, sick. Do you you're hear sick. No, do you hear yourself? I'm a sick for yes, giving you, you the are. life. You didn't give me. <laughs> you didn't give me. Are you I gave it to myself because I worked. And you know what? It doesn't even matter because every time you get mad at me, you take my computers, you take everything that I have, you take my Chanel purses, you hide, you hide my, my purse. You hide my. Are you serious, ma? Stevie, I'm lying. You yes. You don't hide my no, in this safe. I don't even lock my you, safe. You know what? You're a nasty person. Jocelyn says I'm controlling. You know, I like to make sure things run the way I need them to. So if that's controlling, so be it. You want to control yeah, everything you, around you. Know, you know I am controlling. That's what you feel to realize. You don't. What do you mean? You don't even control yourself. The DEA, the baby no. mamas, the kids, I they can, control you. I control you. myself. They control you because they you take all this? your money. So you made it to a certain point and you like me? That you lost the no, respect? No, 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 you no. Lost, you forget you, you, you forgot. You did that you with Benzino. You, you did that because you let him talk about, about me. Because you know why? That's God all you talk damn. about. And he's a bitch. And I'm going to whoop his ass my goddamn self. I'm not even going to whoop his bitch that you. I'm going to whoop his ass like a I'm gonna beat him up. I'm gonna take that by the neck that he don't got, and I'm gonna stole his bitch ass. You telling me I ain't do nothing for your life, and you know better. So if you don't want the ring, I take it. Take it. No, I want you to give it to me. If you don't want to give it to me. Yeah, I'll take both. Do that. And what you want me to do with him? I don't care. Okay. It doesn't affect me. Okay. I don't give a. I'm so over you. You need to get yourself together. You over who? And you need to you think. Over who? And you need to you think. Over who? I'm over you. You'll never be over me. I could not be more happier to see everybody really loving the video and loving the song. It feels amazing. Church, what?
I don't know what church has to do with going to work, but the video wasn't that bad and your ass was looking nice. I'm glad that you guys liked it. At the end of the day, we're a family, no matter what we go through. We need to learn how to forgive, forget, and love each other. And be able to enjoy each other's company. Oh my God. Okay. Guess what? Don and I, we're back friends like we never left each other. How y'all like that? You brought Don! Oh my God. We are all grown women. What is life without giving us together? Jocelyn is just full of surprises tonight. She brings out Dawn, the same woman who completely tried to destroy Jocelyn and Stevie, tried to steal my artist's dime from me, but Jocelyn is now standing here talking about forgiveness. I'm so confused. No matter what mother <laughs> try to get in between you, you or me, we're gonna handle that. Uh, bitch, I'm trying to Listen, listen. Uh, KK and Dawn was cool back in the day, but then they had a falling out when Dawn started spreading rumors and being disloyal. She doesn't yeah, know okay, me. We're not doing so that right bitch, now. don't speak my name. Recently, I've heard that this old head has been spreading rumors about me. I don't know her from anywhere, so now you're gonna find out what happens when you spread rumors about Tommy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If we so can agree cool. to disagree but, bitch, and get along. Me? I love y'all. I love all y'all. You know me? Oh. Who the are you? What's going on? You know me? Oh. Are you? What you know me? Don't put your fingers in my mouth. Don't put your fingers in my mouth. Do you know me? Do you know me, bitch? Ah, she got to go. What's going on? All I know is Tommy is flipping out over Dawn, and she is not alone. Tommy's behaving just how I'm feeling. Jocelyn had no business inviting this rat to this video release party. This bitch want to spell my name in the Get him off. You don't even know what's going on. That was, she don't want to play with me. That was stupid, though. Son, I know where she came from, bitch. You don't know where the I came from, bitch. Punk asshole. So these are the four bedrooms, three baths up here. Stevie and I have been staying in a hotel and I'm just over spending all this money. I want to get a place, but I don't need Stevie to have any say so in the house that I'm choosing. I don't know what he's got going on. I don't even care. The only thing that I care about while I'm in Atlanta is Jocelyn Hernandez. Anything else, it's really not in my mind. I'm gonna give you a ladies to think about it and chat. Okay. So I invited Don to come look at houses with me because you know, it's a lot of things that her and I gotta catch up in. We haven't bonded in a few years because of everything that happened and we could really think and conversate. I'm just really stuck on this bitch Tommy. Why did she try to go off on you and try to put her hands on you? She approached me with, do you know me? No, I don't. Do I supposed to know you? From what I know, it's that Tommy with this lady, KK. Let me explain to you like how I know this bitch. KK, you remember when I went to prison? During my time there, I met Karen. She got out before me because she only did like 10, 11 months. Don mentioned to me before that her and KK was locked up together. She's a gangster. And that's why that's my bitch, because we two gangster bitches. Karen, she was like, man, make sure you reach out to me. You know, so when I got out, we vibed a few times and I never heard from her again. I have no beef with Grandma KK. But clearly, she has something with me. It's the only explanation that I can see why this hood red ass bitch Tommy comes up to me and want to fight me. You a hood rat floating around Atlanta trying to figure it out. At the end of the day, Dom, she ain't no real thug ass bitch. It is what it is. I'm not trying to talk about that old bitch because I'm done with that conversation. And that's it. You know what I mean? Right. Anyway, Phoebe is upset with me. He was like, well, what's going on with Dom? I was like, now you know that's my friend and I love her. If you don't like her, cool. You don't have to, but I'm dealing with her. That is behind us, you know what I mean? I love that, you. And it's not that deep, yeah. I love you too. <laughs> It's nice to tell you I love you, man. I love you too, friend. Me and Dom been through a lot of things, and we said things to each other that was nasty and negative. We talked it out, we worked it out, and we're in a better place. I'm going to take responsibility for the fact that Donna and I was having issues. It was all my fault. I just simply stopped calling the bitch for some that I was going through in my mind. We really love each other and we apologize to each other and we seem past that. That's the past and this is the future. At the end of the day, whatever he say, it's not gonna come in between our friendship. Whenever it, oh, I hear somebody coming in. Yo. Where you been at? Oh. I knew I smelled something rotten walking through the door, and this is Rat Dawn. 
I almost didn't even come here today. I don't know if I need to be buying a house for Jocelyn right now. She's in the full game plan mode, but by her bringing Dawn here today, psh, this may be one trick too many. Wasn't this the same one throwing receipts on me the last time I saw her? Saying I was a junkie. Got texts from her saying we ain't married, and this and that disrespect. So what is, what is it? I'm not concerned about what Stevie is saying. He's irrelevant to me, just like his last hit. I know I called Stevie J and Jocelyn out about a lot of things, and I was wrong for that, because I should have left my personal feelings at home. But at the same time, I love my friend, and we're just gonna make it do what it do. So Stevie, get out the way. Don't go trying to do behind my back, Jocelyn, like you always do, and it always blows up. <sighs> Project Jocelyn, that's me. <laughs> you hanging with your buddies, that's what it is. It's more than over Don me now. has nothing to do with this. I'm sure Jocelyn got Dawn hanging around because they trying to do some shady business deals, but all deals gotta come through me, period, because I'm Jocelyn's manager. I got an ironclad contract, and ain't no wanna be hustling Dawn gonna get in the way. I'm your manager, remember that. Honey, bring me the contract. Oh, the contract. I would like a copy. I see Stevie hasn't changed one bit. He's still the controlling, manipulating person he's always been. But what he doesn't realize is he's not dealing with the little girl Jocelyn anymore. He's dealing with a grown ass woman. If I can't get that from you, I will do what I need to do and take the necessary steps to be able to get that in my hands. You're taking me to court? It looks like you're pushing me to that limit to have to get your subpoena to give me my contract. She's not gonna let you try her, Stevie. Get up out of that Mimi playbook and remember you're messing with a boss. Now you don't need me, so you feel like you need your contract. I still love you. You can holler and scream on your way. No, no, you don't love me. You only love yourself. That's what it's all about. You, right? Now you got your own no. popping and you want to weasel behind me no. and try to do what you want to do by yourself. My no. contract states that everything got to go through me. Bring me the copy of the contract and then we can continue this conversation. What I always tell Steven, you know, we don't have to be in a business relationship. We could just be husband and wife and love each other. I love you. But Stevie doesn't care about being husband and wife. Stevie care about being a controlling man. That's the only thing that turns him on and makes his not being a husband. Really and honest, Don, the way we going, I just don't see it lasting. While Stevie was out of town doing God knows what, I was digging all over that condo, and honey, I found gold. Where is me gold, honey? Hey, boo thing. What's hey, up, man? I cannot wait to tell Don. I know she's gonna be excited about this, and I'm even more excited. I can do whatever I want to, whenever I want to, and I'm happy about that. What's going on, girl? Have you seen vlogs? Tell me what happened now, bitch. Listen, they claim or allege that you're supposedly bleach Stevie clothes. You gotta be kidding me. But let me ask you a question. Did you do it? Stevie's claiming that Jocelyn bleached these clothes, and he's also doing interviews about it. Who the hell knows what the truth is? But today, I'm about to find out. Why would I do that? First of all, right. I would not waste my time bleaching his clothes. I got too much going on. I'm doing official things around here. While he's gossiping to the right. blog, why you keep going to the blog gossiping about what I've done to you? I'm sitting down with my friend Don, and she's telling me that she's looking in the blogs and she's seeing that my husband is going around telling the whole wide world that I bleached his clothes. No, I did not bleach his clothes. Who does that? I got something so sweet coming for him. I really never had put my hands on the contract that Stevie and I had together. I did my own little investigations and I found the contract. What? Hold up. I, I finally got the contract, girl. When things aren't going the way Stevie wants them to go and he can't control me, he goes crazy. Where it's like the only thing that he could talk about is this contract. So after years and years and years of searching and begging for my husband to give me this contract, I finally got my hands on this contract. So I went in his closet. I started looking through boxes. I looked down under the bed and I was like, what? It's a briefcase. Guess what I do? I open up that briefcase. Guess what's in the briefcase? The contract. I would tell you it was more bananas. What? The contract is up. What? Right, the contract is up three years. The last time that I signed my contract was exactly about three and a half years ago when I first signed it. I'm going to go meet with my lawyer and I'm going to make sure that we cease and decease anything that has to do with that contract and Stephen Jordan. I'm dolo, I'm solo, I manage myself. I have the contract right here, friend. Stop Sending him. lying. Yes. OMG. It feels amazing to be free. I mean, I look better, I act better, I think better. I'm a lucky ass bitch. What if he says, I'm not leaving. Bitch, I'm gonna fight you for this. Oh, well then we're gonna have to fight. The years is up, three years right. is up, you have no wow. fight. And it's right here and guess what, in black and white. If you wanna go fight it, I'm gonna send my lawyer going over with there. Me, with guess what, now? he got enough problems 
with his baby mama drama. You don't have no money to go to court with me. You a smart bitch. And now guess who mad at me? I do. Oh my God, I'm so excited about the information she's telling me about this contract. I'm so glad it's over. Now she can get on with her life so she can stop worrying about paying his bills and she can worry about her own self. Because guess what? The 30% Stevie is no longer yours. You've been cut off and shipped to the wolves. He's gonna have a bad day. You wanna go around with the blogs and lie about me? I'm gonna go where it really hurts. So what is that? One thing about it is, I know how to hurt Stevie where it hurts. And one thing for sure and two things for certain, he don't need anybody else digging in them pockets because them baby mamas is already doing that. But I'm gonna make sure that I dig in it just a little bit more, just that much more. I can't tell you everything that I'm gonna do. But right? you better believe when I'm done with him, he gonna be crying like a bitch. I'm meeting with Jocelyn today to let her know that her husband has asked could he crash at my place for a while. I don't really know what's going on because Stevie has been known to lie to me a lot, but clearly they're having some issues and I need to let Jocelyn know what's going on. So Mimi asked me to meet with her. I don't really know what she got to tell me, but I've been meaning to go sit down with her and tell her some things and get back at Stevie at the same time. Dressed up. What's going on, honey? How are you? Girl, you know, I just do something out. <laughs> now that I finally got this contract, I am so excited. Stevie's been trying to take control of my life, my career for many, many years, but now I'm a free woman like the Statue of Liberty. Okay. And I'm the puppet master. Now, Stevie, since the last time I seen you, <sighs> it's so much I have to tell you. Me too. Hey, honey, can we get a drink? I, I so need a drink right now, so thank you. You have no idea what's been going on with Stephen. I want you to really like hold on to your seat. Well, I'm holding. You know, I need a drink. Yeah. <sighs> Jocelyn sits down and she's very upset. Where's this bitch with the drink? I mean, she's distraught actually. And I haven't even started talking. Thank you, honey. Thank, Thank you. you. I don't know what's going on. Must be something real serious. You know, Stevie got a new baby, and the girl got him on child support. Okay, wait a minute. You know, Jocelyn, don't cry. A baby? Another baby? Jocelyn is sitting in front of me, bawling like a baby, and just dropped a bomb on me that Stevie has another baby? What the f is going on? Are you sure it's his baby? I'm positive. I got a lot of bitches that still strip, that still in the street. So one of my homegirls called me and she goes, you know, your husband got a baby with another bitch. And I'm like, bitch, I don't believe. Did you talk to the girl? I talked to the girl. I'm still in contact with a lot of the strippers that I used She's to dance a dancer. in Miami. One of the girls is a dancer. They say he got two babies. My mind is blown. Stevie might have two additional children by two different women. They say one of the girl name is Promise Me Bay. He got a baby with her? I know you've seen that on the blog. Yeah, I saw that. But I heard she had an abortion. That girl's got a baby. So about three years ago, this Promise Be Made chick was all over social media and all over the blogs saying that she was pregnant with Stevie's baby. It caused all kind of problems at the time, but then she came out and said she had an abortion. But now, Jocelyn is saying that this girl didn't have an abortion, she really did have this baby? I'm all kind of confused. And then the stupid bitch, my homegirl said to me, Jocelyn, he's got a brand new baby, the baby's about a year and a half, and she's got him on child support. I had no clue this was going on. I thought it was bull Now it might be true, and I'm so disgusted with Stevie. If this is true, this is so deep. And trust me, I, I'm i a woman. I feel your pain. I sympathize with you. Mimi, he don't have any money now. After the babies that he's spent on them, now, Mimi, he comes after my money. He's giving two, three hundred thousand dollars to the lawyers. And guess what, Mimi? The money's still going out. I've seen it. I had to let him borrow money. I won't pay for it. I'm gonna let the next picture that you try to play pay for the child support. I have to spend that money on my music and my career. He's been telling me just bits and pieces, like y'all not getting along. And I'm like, well, why? We're not getting along because he's got a baby. Are you sure, Jocelyn, or are these bitches just coming to you I trying to, to piss I you spoke, off? I spoke to Make the girl. Mad. I met up with the girl in Atlanta Station, and she showed me the paper where it says Jordan. His name is on it's there. His name is on there, because they already went to court. Does he know you know about this baby, or did you keep it on the low? He, he knows. knows you know. He's still denying it. But 
Sam can never is, say. He will never speak the truth. How many times have he lied to you? I am so sorry. It's not your fault. No, I'm so sorry this is happening to you. And I never thought in a million years that I would feel any kind of sympathy for you, but I do. I feel sympathy for myself. has a way of coming full circle. This day right here is going down in history as the craziest day ever. It all makes sense now. He came to me and asked me, could he crash at my place? I have been in your shoes, trust me. That is why when he asked me to crash at my place, I said, I need to speak to you about that. Cause I figured you would tell me more than he would and God damn it, you did. I can't deal with him, Mimi. No. I just can't. That I would rather nice. him crash at your house. I can't deal with that, Mimi. Y'all are deal married. With I don't you have any kids with him. made vows. You don't understand, Mimi. They are oh, I understand. Jocelyn Hernandez is sitting across from me begging me to take her man back. Neither one of us wants his lying ass. You should let him stay in your uh -uh. couch. Please. No, ma'am. Uh -uh. I'm begging you. No, ma'am. You want to come stay at my house and you didn't share any of this with me? Yeah, Stevie and I need to have a serious conversation, for sure. Please. He has lied to me once Let again. Stay in your, please, not happening. happening. Look at me. It's not going to happen, but I need to have a conversation with his ass, uh, for sure. You know what? He ain't gonna do lie to you. Like he be lying to you for four years. But it's okay. You can believe him. It don't matter. Sooner or later, you all gonna come tonight. Right about that. I know Mimi went back running to Stevie about those two kids, but I just can't wait to see what the bitch has done. You know, me and my husband, we're still married, but you know what? We're separated. We're not in the same bed. We're not having sex. I'm doing me. I'm handling my business, and I'm so much more happy. I'm really focused on waiting for Mimi, Molly the maid, to go drop the little bomb on Stevie. I'm going to be here laughing like, <laughs> Mrs. Evil. What's up, boo? Yes, what's up? Stevie is not my manager anymore, and I'm so happy that her contract is up. There's no one that can say anything about what I do with my career and how I do it. Now, Don, on the other hand, I got her book in my shows because you know that's that extra money. Sit that's down, friend. It's so much going on in my life right now, I just have to chill and take it all in. Before we get into the Jocelyn Hernandez brand, I must give you the best. What the f is going on? So, you know what I did? Mimi, Stevie uses her so much, so she won't put him on child support. Right. So you know what I did. I'm going to make sure she puts you on child support. So I told the bitch that he got babies in the streets. What? And he don't even got babies in the streets. So I just lied and made it up. <laughs> so here's the thing, y'all. This whole baby situation, <laughs> I made it up. It's a lie. You think if Stevie had kids, I'd be sitting around and still be wearing my ring, still be with him, still being seen with this mother I don't think so. Guess what? The bitch gonna put you on child support because by the time I'm done with the both of you, she gonna be so mad at you, you gonna be on child support, she gonna take all your money. Right. So how you heard it, dude, girls? You get in they pocket. And when you go tell the baby mama some like that, you better believe she gonna put him on child support today, next month, or next year, but it's gonna happen. That bitch probably had a look on her face like, she was like, I was crying everything, bitch. Right. He's got babies with this bitch, and that bitch, and I can't take it, please take it. <laughs> When I'm done with him, he gonna work for me. <laughs> Jocelyn deserves an Oscar for this. Now she can laugh and play and run these people crazy. Being in the house with that fool, my mind was in smoke. I couldn't sit back and really do what I wanted to do. Right. I think Mimi's just really delusional. She's always gonna believe it's some good left in him, which is sad because she's too damn old to be believing the same thing over and over and over a damn kid. You know, my contract was for three years. Right. The three years is up. Now I can put all my money in my company. But you know what? That's my mother time. What we doing? We got going on. My gonna phone do? ringing off the hook. Who, who called you? Listen. Tell me. We got invited to a major party that's happening in two. Who? The biggest boss. Rick Ross? Rick Ross. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that's gonna be the... That's gonna take the cake. I can't wait. We're gonna have a good time. Rick Ross is having a party at his big mansion. I mean, he's got like a 20-bedroom mansion. And I'm sure taking the invitation, I'm gonna go have me a good time, get f***ed up. And you never know what happens after that. You know, Stevie's gonna be so upset. When he finds out that I'm out in the streets doing all of this and all of that, he's gonna really like come for your head. It's a big opportunity for you. And I think we need to be in the place where all the musicians at. Bitch, I'm ready. 
1079, man, Atlanta's number one hip-hop station. Daddy boys, we are checking in right now. Yeah, Let's yeah. see what's going on, man. Uh -huh. The man of the hour, of the week, of the day, yeah, of the yeah, month. Yeah. In the building! I'm here, baby. Now that all these rumors about fake children is over and done with, I gotta focus on other things. I haven't figured out how I'm gonna handle Miss Hernandez just yet, but I figured this little press tour with my partner might get a rise out of her. Now, we had, we had to yeah. bring you back in because we got more stuff that's happening, man. Yeah, man, everything is happening, man. You know, we got Miss Jackson, my partner. My new business partner, Ms. Jackson, is smart, she's beautiful, articulate, and she's got a killer product that I want to be a part of. Ms. Jackson and I have been getting to the money real quick, so I thought today would be a great day to announce our new business venture together. Is this more a little bit more than a business partner relationship? Sounds venture? like it, brother. What do you mean, bro? Is he giving you the, uh, the Louisville slugger? <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I mean, I really focus on my business. That's my number That's one priority. It. I gotta ask you, man, so what in the hell is going on with you and Jocelyn? Are well, you know, a lot has transpired over the last week. <laughs> Don't use big words, just tell <laughs> me. I haven't talked to her. Okay. Now, question, like, I've been reading, I've been reading vlogs and okay. a lot of people say a lot of things. So, in this picture, right. the picture with Rick Ross and Jocelyn, have you and Rick Ross spoken? Has anything transpired with that? You know, I ain't really looking to have no conversation about it, because, you know, I'm cut from a different cloth. Like, right. I'm not about to play them type of games. No wife of mine will ever be out taking no pictures or doing no dumb, manipulative stuff like this. Right. That was my last straw. I was like, yo, my kids, everybody watching. Yeah, you, you don't do like yeah, this. Yeah, you don't want to hear your partner come like, hey, bro, you seen uh, Rick yeah. Ross grabbing that, your not girl? Not even that. It's more or less like she gonna push a button on, on something that she can't undo. So I can't, I can't let that rock. I know what y'all got going on, and I get the whole entertainment side of this right. business. Right. When you take a girl from the pole to the palace, some women <laughs> get it, some women don't. And I understand it. But you know, are y'all together or y'all not together straight up? What's up? At the end of the day, I want to be happy with me. I'm loving me right now. Right. Are you really together or not? No, we're not together right now. So, because I just want to make sure it's clear. Right. We don't like to um, have rumors out there. Right. You know what I'm saying? Or even spread rumors. Right, right, so right. I ask the goat himself. All right, okay. Where are you, where are you and Jocelyn ever married? Oh. No, we weren't. So you're not married? Not at all. There it is. There you have it. So all the girls can stop coming up to me, asking me, is Stevie single? He's not married, man. This rumor started back in the Hip Hop Weekly. The Hip Hop Weekly posted the story. I don't know why the editors just did that. We were hot at the time, super hot, put us on a cover. And I just wanted to run with it because it made our happiness to say that we were married. It's been a lot of publicity about this marriage that y'all had. Like, how did that happen? It got out there that we were, so I just, I just, I just ran with it. Yeah, Jocelyn definitely wanted to be married to me real bad. And you know, I might have even wanted to marry her at some point. Now that I see this disrespect, I don't want no part to that. Can't have my last name. Did Mimi find out? Did Mimi, did Mimi always know about that? Or, so she don't even know. Nah, this is an exclusive right here. <laughs> the fact that I couldn't tell Mimi the truth is like, you know, like I said, I want to protect Jocelyn. She was rocking with me, you know what I'm saying? And I thought it would be a kind of like forever type of thing, you know? But I just hope she don't kick me off the couch too quick. Jocelyn, who I still got love for her. I'm still a manager. I just renewed my second option as manager of the year. <laughs> <laughs> so you're still going to push her as an uh, artist? I'm, I'm going to put whatever she wants me to work with her in. As far as business, I'm still there. Jocelyn and I may not be together anymore, but we damn sure got a business relationship. She signed the ironclad contract that made me her manager. The original term expired, but I picked up my option to extend. She can run around booking gigs with Dawn all she want, but I'm gonna get my 30% until death do us part. Stevie J, Dirty Boys, we here! appreciate y'all. Since I got back from LA, I had a lot of time to think about everything, and it's time things change. I've given Jocelyn multiple chances to make things right between us, but Jocelyn is only interested in herself. Jocelyn has refused to apologize for taking a disrespectful picture by lying about these fake babies. She was never interested in forming a bond with my kids or my parents. She's like a bad habit I need to kick. I see you still playing the same old tune. You don't learn no new tune yet? I got a few new tunes. You know, I'm always have a special love for Jocelyn. In the perfect world, we're supposed to be that dynamic duo that took over the world. But you know, in life, you never get what you ask for. Ever since we left LA, it was shaky, right? We get to Atlanta, completely separated. <sighs> I 
Uh, what? I'm just listening to the bullshit you got to say. That's all I'm doing. What are you gonna tell me, Steve? Um, I miss you. I, I know that. You miss me too? No. Okay. Not at all. I don't love you. I'm face to face with my husband, and what's going through my mind right now is that he should really be on his knees apologizing for lying. I'm sorry for stabbing you in the back. I'm sorry for being a horrible husband that I've been for five years. I'm sorry that I went behind your back and hurt you. I'm sorry, but you know what? The only thing that he can say is that he misses me. F you. What about that? What's up with you, man? You gonna run from a like me your whole life. The only that's been there for you. It's funny how things change, right? Oh, yeah, thanks to you, I'm on child support with Mimi, but I got the bread, that ain't the problem. But a real wife wouldn't do that. I'm your wife? A real wife wouldn't do that. I thought she that. was on Clay with me all over the radio station. Now I'm a real wife? You're not gonna own up to nothing, right? Own up to what? You telling Mimi I had a baby, but I promised be a man. One kiddo, two kiddo. Three kiddo, four kiddos, five kiddos. Oh, now you got another kiddo. That's six. Then you got another one. You're delusional. That's seven. No, you're delusional you're for losing delusional. all of this. Eight kids. Oh, nine kids. You might have ten. Or eleven. Nobody believes. Twelve. Believe. Mimi believe me because you want child support. That's only chump change. I'm gonna take care of mine anyway. That's coming to Rose. That's how many kids you got. I don't know how you on a high horse. Tell me how you on a high horse. I'm no high horse. I'm just sick of your You the one back hanging with Dawn. The same bra that talk dirty and greasy about you. Okay. And she just gonna throw you to the side. Never disrespect what you gonna like do? like that. These streets is mine. Man, listen, man. Goodbye. Goodbye to you. Looking a little flabby and fat. Good night, bitch. You a hoe. Yet again, Jocelyn thinks she could disrespect me like I'm nothing to her. See, she might not be Mrs. Jordan, but she's still on the contract with me. She can't do nothing without me, whether she like it or not. I'm the boss, and I'm always be the boss. I'm done with this.